What's good, everybody? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> okay, yeah, that was a, a lame Martin Lawrence wannabe impression. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us for another round of the live stream here on uh, the channel here on YouTube, trying to uh, do what we can do while we are all quarantined. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Nathaniel, yo, brother, what's going on? Uh, Mike A. How you doing? Uh, I know that's not detective, but uh, Detroit fan, man. I learned that the other night. <laughs> What's going on with you? Fresh sounds, Florida. Uh, <laughs> you said smooth, smoothest intro ever on YouTube, huh? I don't know if it's the smoothest ever, but you know what I'm saying? It's all good. Mitch Show, we got him Brooklyn in the house. What's going on? Just for those that might not know, if you do not say anything to us in the chat room, we have no idea that you are here. And this is the time that we like to say hello to everybody. So please, please, come on. Come on, say something. Don't be scared. Come on, say say hello. We won't bite. You know what I'm saying? At least not through the um, computer we won't bite or your phone or your tablet. Um, <laughs> what's up, ST? Uh, Gerald? How you doing? Yes, everything is well. D. Scrogans, what's going on? Uh, Nathan Nelson, <laughs> troublemaker, what's going on, Mister Troublemaker? <laughs> uh, man, okay, let me see. Did I miss somebody. Don't be shy, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Don't be shy. But uh, as y'all can see, we are already joined by three additional people on this panel to my immediate right we have miss drea how you doing today girl <laughs> are your microphones mute hold on there she go i'm good how y'all doing what's up everybody and we just chilling you know we like brandy just laying down on the live stream you know what i'm saying i, know. I, love it. <laughs> <laughs> I would introduce d diminished seven but i don't think she's in front of her computer right there. oh there she go okay i did go d diminished seven AKA okay. the Sandra diminished seven. Yeah, you you can thank you you can thank your teacher for that. <laughs> you can thank your teacher. <laughs> you, can thank your teacher. <laughs> like, you just had to put my government name out there, didn't you? Just had to do that. <laughs> okay, sleepy jazz. It's sleepy time, jazz. If you're gonna sleepy do it, you gotta time. do it right. Sleepy time, <laughs> jazz. They, Mike A is in the chat too. He was the one that came up with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and of course we got the brat, uh, giving us a gangster lane to the side. What's going on, Brandy? Good. And okay. fresh sounds for the yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> and hopefully everybody in the chat room, I'm I'm assuming since you're on here, you all doing well and you're feeling well. And if you're not, hey man, prayers is with are with you. But uh, so you already see what the title of the room is. Or should I say the live stream for tonight is. And some of you may have seen a little sneak peek, a little preview about an hour or so ago when I did a, a, a test stream just to make sure that everything was working. So some of you already saw like for about, you know, for a minute or two, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all got to see a little something, something. So you already know what we want to talk about this evening. This evening we are going to do basically a basic, basic, basic introduction with the number system. Okay. So we're not going to go into anything fancy. We want to keep it super basic. We've spent about, I guess, the last two weeks teaching you how to build chords. And so I've, I've, I've shown you a whole lot of different chords and how to, you know, build a whole bunch of different type of chords. And now it's time to start teaching you how to use those chords. And one way to use those chords is to know that number system and get yourself familiar with it. So we're going to have a basic introduction with the number system. 
Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Rocky just came on. He hasn't been on in a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. All right. There we go. We got Sir Producer One, a.k.a. Rocky. What's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? All right. You, you, you got a gangster lane over there, man. It's, it's like you, <laughs> it looked like you in a spaceship, man, like sitting up like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? But that's okay. We can still see you though. But yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> it's like a, to, uh, I'm not gonna like be on long. Yeah, it's a vertical shot. Like, uh, yeah, yeah right? I see it, man. Yeah. <laughs> like you look like you on a spaceship. Like, yeah, man. Like, okay, you about the five, four, three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> I couldn't see. Oh, don't worry about the original one, Mitch. So it wasn't. It, it was literally me just testing out something. I downloaded a new piece of software that will pro. That I'm hoping will make uh, the lessons a little bit more, e like, I guess, easier, I should say. will make it easier to follow. That's all it was. And I just wanted to do a quick, uh, before we did the the main live stream, I wanted to make sure that we did, um, you know, I did that to make sure everything was working cool. All right. So that's all that was. So it wasn't nothing serious. You know, that's why it's private. As a matter of fact, I'll probably just go ahead on and just delete it all the way through. So don't worry about that. Okay. Um, let me see. Make sure I said hello to everybody. Oh, why you put a question mark next to uh, Troublemaker, Nathan? You know, you know what you do, man. You know exactly what you do. All right. Okay. Again, if you just came in and you didn't hear the announcement before, if you don't say anything, we don't know that you're here. And we like to say hello before we get started. So if you are here and you would like to get a shout out, just say what's up in the comments. Good evening, everyone. Uh, the, this is Saturday evening, so we will be listening to the beats tonight. Also, I have about, I think, four submissions. I think I think it's like four submissions. And then we have an uh, extra beat. Some of you know, I told you that uh, Ron uh, was working on kind of doing a remix to my little intro. Do you want to learn? How, oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. Do you want to learn how to play your favorite song on the piano? That that song right there. He was working on a remix and uh he he dropped it. He 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 sent me a little uh he sent me a track yesterday. So I have not recorded any vocals to it yet or anything, but we will definitely be listening to that track tonight also. So not only will we listen to the beats from last week's live stream that we came up with, but we will also be listening to the remix to the House of Jazz opening theme. So uh, we definitely got a lot going on tonight and appreciate everybody coming and being a part. And um, what's going on, Brick? Nah, it's a bike. You can sit down. Like this right Whoa, Brick, you kind of loud. Hold up. I don't know what's going on. All right. What's going, what's going on, Brick? Why is this not working? I'm trying to do something here. Hold on. Hey, Brick, can you hear us? Oh, you okay? You muted his mic. Okay. Okay. There's one little thing I'm trying to do to make this look a little bit better, to center me a bit. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to center myself a little bit. Okay, cool. All right. So, all right. So, we got about 19 people in the room right now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead on and we're going to start our. Um, theory lesson, the number system. So I'm going to ask now of those that are on the panel, uh, if you have a question that you want to ask, um, we will be able to hear you. I'm getting ready to um, do a screen share. So we're not going to um, be able to see you, but we will be able to hear you. So if you have a question, uh, feel free to ask while we're going through this. Okay. But just know that I'm getting ready to, um, you won't be seen, but you can be heard. But if you don't have anything to say, go ahead on and just mute your microphone for now. And then once we're finished this, we'll jump back over and we'll continue our live stream for the evening. Okay. Um, hold on. I'm getting a whole bunch of beeping on my thing. Okay. All right. So, again, like I said, we are going to be looking at the number system. Um. And like I... Oops, sorry about that. Ugh. And like I said before... I have to do this one more time. Sorry. Do, do, do. There we go. Okay. Uh, so like I said before, we have spent about two weeks, about, was there about six live streams going over building chords and building scales. And now it's time to look into 
how to start applying all those chords that you are learning how to build and how to play. So we're going to look into, when I say basic, I do mean extremely basic, uh, the numbers, the Nashville number system. We're going to, we're not going to do anything trickery or anything. We want to keep it really basic. So the first thing you need to know about the number system is that you have obviously a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, each of those numbers um, uh, need to, uh, the chord needs to be played either as a major chord, a minor chord, and the seven all is supposed to be played as a diminished. So if you look right here, where I have the Roman numeral one, when you're dealing with the number system, if someone tells you to play the one, unless they specify otherwise, you need to play that chord as a major chord, okay? Now, if they tell you to play the two, unless otherwise specified, you should play that chord as a minor chord, okay? And if they tell you to play the three, you should play that one as a minor chord, unless otherwise specified. Uh, and then the four, you need to play that chord as a major chord, okay? And if they tell you to play a five, you need to play that as a major chord. If they tell you to play a six, you play that as a minor chord. And if they tell you to play a seven, you play that as a diminished chord. Now, let me say this. This is music, y'all. There is no, it has to be just like this. You have to play the two as the minor. The four has to be played as the major. And that's it. You can't do nothing else. That's not what this is. All this is, is this is just a common uh progressions this is how progressions are commonly played in a lot of pop music even in ccm music uh just this music in general you know what i'm saying uh so no this does what i'm getting ready to teach you right here is not a this is it you have to follow this and if you don't do it exactly this way um uh, uh you're not a musician it's not that so let me say that before we go into this but um, we're going to look at some um, popular uh, progressions. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to keep this basic. Now, if you're not familiar with your chords yet in every key, and you're not familiar with how to build your chords so that you can play your chords, all you need to do is please visit some of my previous live streams from the last two to three weeks, okay? Because I actually started from the very beginning with showing you how to build scales, build your chords. So if you're looking at this and you're feeling a little overwhelmed, relax. I already have previous live streams that you can look at. As a matter of fact, when we're finished with this live stream tonight, I'll make a playlist of the live streams that features all of my music theory lessons. Okay. So I'll make it even easier for you. Okay. But for right now, we're going to look at some real basic, uh, somewhat popular chord progressions. So if you look at the first, well, first, before you even go there, I have an example of how you would play your, the number system in the key of C. If you're in the key of C major, you see, that means if someone tells you to play the one, that means normally you will play a C major chord. If they tell you to play the two, since the two is supposed to be played as a minor, then you will play D minor because C is one, right? In the key of C, C is one, right? So if you, they tell you to play the one, you play it as a major chord, which is C, E, G, right? Now, if they tell you to play the two, you're supposed, supposed to play the two as a minor chord. So that means you're going to play D minor, which will be D, F, A, okay? Now, if they're telling you to play the third, that means you have to go to the third note of the scale. One, two, three, that's E, right? And the third supposed to be played as a what? Minor chord. So you would play E minor, okay? Now, of course, if they tell you to play the four, one, two, three, four, F is four. And the fourth is supposed to be played as a what? Major. So just play a F major chord, okay? If you're told to do the five, one, two, three, four, five. G is the fifth note in that scale, so you want to play that as a G major chord. That's your major chord. That's five. If you're told to play the six, one, two, three, four, five, six. A is six in the key of C, and you have to play that as a what? 
minor chord. And if you're told to play the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, B is the seven. So that means that chord needs to be played as a diminished chord, B diminished. And of course, after that, you're back at the one again. So basically your C major walk will be Right. OK, so that's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now, now that we know that and we're just going to use the basic chords for right now, what's going on, Ron? So we're just going to use the basic chords for now. Now, if you look at I have over here, I typed out some commonly um, some common progressions that we're going to look at. This first one is called the one, four progression okay it's very simple that means if you're in the key of c major that means you need to play a c major chord because that's one and then the four would be um f major and then the five is g major okay so that means you will go that's one four five and then of course you can always go back to the one you can always just go back to the one, right? To end, you know, to make it sound like you know you ended the song, you know. So one, four, five, one. Okay, real simple. Why is this important to learn? Okay, because you might be in a situation where you're playing Hezekiah's song. Oh Lord, we praise you. Oh Lord, we praise. Notice I'm playing one, four, five, by the way. Oh, Lord, we praise you. Oh, Lord, we praise you. And then the choir director turns to you and say, take it up a half step. And now you're sitting there like, what, 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 huh, huh, huh? well, if you know your number system, all you have to do is just go to C sharp or D flat and continue to play one, four, five, and one again. See what see what just happened? Some of you said um, when we, I gave a poll about two weeks ago, some of y'all said y'all need help with learning how to modulate. The number system is an easy way to be able to modulate. So instead of you trying to remember oh, uh, D flat, oh yeah, what is it? It's, it's D flat, and then uh, a G flat, A flat, D flat. All you got to do is just keep remembering. One, four, five. One, four, five. That's all you have to remember. Oh. We praise you, oh Lord, we pray. And then all of a sudden they say, take it up again. And you, uh, once again, that you go to the next key, which is D major. And yet you still can just keep playing one, four, five, one, right? Because in the key of D, D is one. So you play that as a major, right? One, two, three, four. G is the four. So you play that as a major chord. And if the G is four, Obviously, five is going to be what? The one. That's the A major. And then you go back to the, um, I said five is going to be the one. Five is going to be A major. I'm sorry. Five is A major. And then, of course, you can go back to the one again. Okay. And then all of a sudden, the choir director says, hey, take it up again. Take it up again. Instead of you trying to figure out the names of all those chords, just say one, four, five. So now we're in the key of E flat, right? And in E flat, the one is E flat, so play that major. One, two, three, four. The four is A flat, right? So play that as A flat major, right? And if A flat is four, obviously B flat is five, right? And you play the five as a major chord, right? And then you come back to the one. So, oh, Lord, we praise you. Sorry about that. Oh, Lord, we praise you. And then if the choir director say, take it up, again, I think y'all getting my point. We'll do it one more time. But once again, you, you take it up, right? Now we're in the key of E. So in the key of E, E is one, right? What's the four? Let's do the E scale. One, two, three, four. Oh, A is four. According to our diagram up here, you have to play the four as a, as a major chord, right? So you play A major. And obviously, if A is four, then B is going to be five, right? That's B major. And then you go back to the one, okay? 
So this is the reason why people say you should learn the number system. Learning the number system really can help in a lot of different ways. It also can help if you're sitting in church and you have that sister that stands up and decides she wants to sing something. And uh, not, not, not only have you never heard the song before, but nobody else in the church has have ever heard the song before either, right? Maybe it's a song she wrote. I don't know. <laughs> but nobody ever heard the song before. But you can kind of, you know, you, you're listening to it and you can find out what key she's in. And once you find out what key she's in, once you play the number system enough, you'll be able to start hearing, okay, that's one, four, five, or she's just doing a six, four, one, five, back to one. You know, you, you'll, you'll get, but that comes with time. Please don't try to rush it. It comes with time. Comes with time. Okay. Hold on for a second. Got some noise in the background. Okay. All right, yeah, that comes with time being able to do that, okay? So that's the one, four, five, one. And as you just heard, if you're a um, Hezekiah Walker fan, you can play Oh Lord, We Praise You just by playing one, four, five, one. I was thinking the other day about the joy that came my way, how he took away my frown and all the things that had me. Now, all I'm doing is doing one, four, five, and going back to the one. And even when you do the course, you can do that. So it's real simple. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the next popular, or should I say, a commonly used um, progression. You have two, five, one. Two, five, one, a lot of times. A, a lot of times you'll hear two, five, one when you're coming to the end of the song or maybe the end of a section of a song. So maybe you're at the end of the verse or end of something. Usually the kind of people will use that as a way to uh, come to the end of some part of the song. Not always, not always. Here's the funny thing. I use it to end my opening theme. When I say house of jazz, jazz, the piano tutorial, man, when I do that, that's actually a two five one chord. It's a, it's using extended chords, but even I use that two five one to end my opening. So um, uh, so two five one. But we're going to look at the easy one. We're not going to look at the difficult one. So once again, if we're in the key of C major, right? Now we're saying two. Now according to our little chart up here, our two is supposed to be played how as a minor, right? So that means, uh, so what is two in the key of C? If C is one, D is two, right? So you're going to play D minor, that's two. And then um, the five in the key of C, five is what? One, two, three, four, five. The five is G, and you're supposed to play that as a major, right? So you play G major, and then you go to the one. And of course, what's one in C? Exactly, C right? <laughs> C major, okay? So you can go two, five, one. So in the key of C, that's D minor, G, and then C major, okay? Now, if you're in another key, let's say you're in the key of F major. Okay, guess what? You can still do the two, five, one. So if you're in the key of F major, uh, okay, what's two in F major? Well, if F is one, Two, it must be G, right? And two must be played as a minor chord, right? So G minor. Okay, now what's five in the key of F? One, two, three, four, five. C major, right? So that would be five. And of course, the one in F major is obviously F major. So a two, five, one in the key of F is... And I'm going to teach you a little trick I use. I use it a lot on my piano tutorials, too. I'm going to give you this little trick. When you're doing two, five, ones, it's, um, before you go to that one, sometimes it's nice to suspend, suspend that one first just to give it an extra oomph to the sound. Let me give you an example. So let's say if you're in the key of F, right, and you're saying two, five, and then you go sus four, and then resolve it. I'm just saying that's just something that you can use to just spice up uh, ending to a song. It's real popular. You just do a suspended four and then 
resolve it back down. Okay. You can do that in any key. If I went to C major and did a two, five, one D minor G major, it didn't do C sus four. And then C major, you can do that. Okay. Two, five, one, you can do that in any key. If you're in the key of a flat, okay. What would be the two? If a flat is one B flat is two, right? So B flat minor. Hold on for a second. Yeah. Okay. B flat minor, B flat minor. That's your two. And then E flat major is your five. And then like, if you want to do that suspended trick that I told you, right? So two, five, one, suspended one, back to one. Okay. If you're in the key of B flat, you can do the same thing in the key of B flat. If you want to do a two, five, one, you would do C minor because that's the two. Um, five is the F and then with the B flat suspended four. Right. So that would be. Okay, so that's two, five, one. That's another common uh, a number, like a progression that you will hear in the number system. Now, let's take it up to another one. Maybe you might be doing a song <clears throat> and your you, your bass player, you with a band, right? And the bass player is just calling out numbers. The only thing you know is that you're in the key of C major. And he might say, yo, go to the one. And then he might say, go to the two. Go to the four. Go to the five. And back to the one. And they, they might say that's what they're playing. That's what that's this progression right here that I just showed you right here. One, two, four, five. And of course, when you you can always go. I, I didn't put the one right there, but you can always go back to the one just to complete the cycle. But that's just another example. And you can do that in another key. What if the bass player is trying to, you know, trying to help you out and like, OK, now, nah, man, we're in the key of F. All right. One, two, four, five, one. All right. So if you you know, so if you're in the key of F, you would do F. What I say, I say one, two, four, five, one. Okay. <laughs> one, <laughs> and then two, four, five, one. Now, here's a, a very common progression that you will see. Like, a, a, it's, it's, I, I, I won't say just CCM music or whatever, just all around. This six, four, one. Five and back to one, you're going to hear that. Now, notice with this one, we're starting on the minor six. So this progression is actually starting on the minor six. Okay, so you have, um, oh, let's go and, and let's say we're in the key of C major, right? So in the key of C, one, two, three, four, five, six. That means A is the six. So you start with A minor, A minor, four, one. Five, one, or you might not even go back to the one. You might just go right back to the six again. Let's forget about the one for right now. Let's just go six. Again, we're in the key of C. Six, four, one, five, one. I know y'all saw me do a little something right there. <laughs> one. <laughs> to the five, back to the six, four, one, five. And then when it's time to end the song, you can go to the six, four, and then do a two, five, one. Suspended four. See what just happened? So instead of you sitting there trying to remember all the chords you're trying to remember, if you can just remember the number, you straight. Now, I gave two more, so we'll just go over two more, and then I'm going to stop with the lesson because I don't want to give you too much. But it's just that simple. But we'll look at the next one. Again, we have a four, one, five, 
six. So if we're in the key of uh, before I do that, let me do let me go back to this one and just show it to you in another key. Let's just show it to you in another key. So we're going to go back to the six, four, one, five, one. So if we're in the key of F major, right? What's the six and F? One, two, three, four, five, six, D, right? And then the four, the one, five. Go back to the six again, okay? Um, well, I said we're in the key of F, right? Just want to make sure, right? Okay, six, six, four, one, five. Back to the six. Uh, to the four, one, five, back to the six, six, four, end it with a two, five, one, two, five, and suspend the one. Okay, so like I said, if you can do it in any key once, that's why I stressed. And that's the reason why I spent two whole weeks teaching you how to build chords so that you can know the chords, learn the chords so that you can start implementing this number system. All right, so let's take a look at two more. So another one could be four, one, five, six. All right, so if we're in the key of C and you want to go to the four, one, two, three, four. The four would be F, right? Then C would be, oh, I said we're in the key of C, right? Yeah, four. <laughs> and then C would be the one, then five, and then the six. There we go. All right, so listen to it. Then you can end it two, five, one. Okay, and then another popular uh, progression, and this will probably be the last one that we do, uh, is uh, the one, five, six, four. Okay, so let's say that we're in the key of C. Yes, Mike, it does depend on what the key that we're in. Yeah, we definitely went over that uh, already. That it, uh, it, Whatever key that they tell you that you're in, then all you have to do is just know the number, the number system, whatever the number. And usually if you're playing with a bass player that know that they know what they're doing, the bass player can always call out the number for you. Tell you they were like one, five, you know, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, but okay, so let's take a look at this last one that we have right here. We have the one, five, six, four progression. So let's say we're in the key of C and if you're in the key of C, C will be the one, right? C major. And then what's five? One, two, three, four, five. That's G, right? So G is two. Um, G is, is the second chord is what I meant. G is five. That would be the second chord. And then, of course, if G is five, then A obviously must be six. And now six has to be played minor, right? And then we come back down to the four, which will be one, two, three, four, F major. So if you put that together, one, five, six, four, one, five, six, Four. Now, again, let's say you're in the key of F major. You're not in the key of C. Okay, well, then you're going to have to go to the key of F. And that means F will be one. And then one, two, three, four, five. C is, the, um, C is five. And if C is five, then D is the six, right? D minor. And then one, two, three, four. B flat is the four. So that chord progression would be
Yeah, if I went back to C major. And go back to F. I didn't have to think so hard about it. I didn't have to say, oh, what's the chords? What's the chords? Oh, my goodness. You don't have to do that. As long as you know, Mike, we're doing um, we're just doing the uh, triads right now. We're not going into extended chords. That's for another week. This is basic. We're not going to do all the um, for the dominant and all that stuff. That's extended chords right now. We're just keeping it at the um, uh, basic chords right now. That's why this is totally basic right now. But um, I'm just saying, but. When you like I said, knowing the number system, now please. I'm, I said this at the beginning. Some I see we have about forty people in here, so I, some of you may not have heard me say this before. What I'm going over right now that does not mean that this is the rule, okay? And that you have to play the one as major, and the I should say you, the one, four, five as a major chord. The two, three, and six has to be minor, and the seven has to be diminished. And if you do it any other way, uh, you, you you don't love your mama and your feet stink. No, it's, that's 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 not what we're talking about. Okay, all we're saying is that this is popular. This is popular, but this is not necessarily the rule. It's just popular progressions. So, what I encourage all of you to do is to again. Learn all your keys because the number system is not going to help you if you don't know your chords. Let me say that again. If you don't know the chords in all your keys, this number system is not going to help you. So please, if you need help with um, how to build up all of your scales, all 12 of the scales and build up the chords, I've been going over that for the last two weeks okay so all you have to do is and like i said when this live stream is over i should have been did this i'm going to take all the live streams that feature the scales building chords i'm gonna put them all in one playlist so that it will be easy for you to um you know find them and just take your time i, I i'm giving you i gave you a whole lot of stuff and this is all free stuff too by the way <laughs> get to you free stuff that you can use to help build your skills so that you can take yourself to the next level. All right. So, um, but that's the end of this lesson, because like I said, I wanted to keep this as basic as I could. I don't want it. You know, we're we not at the advanced stuff yet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go to the chat room and I'm going to also go to the panel. If there's any questions now would be the, a great time to ask. So I'll give you a couple seconds. Um, did I put him in there? Okay, um, 112DZ. Okay, so I'm just waiting to see if there's any questions from the panel or anybody in the chat room. So these are the most, I won't say these are the most common progressions. I'm just saying that these are progressions that you'll probably come across. Um, 251 is pretty common to end, to end something, though. But all I did was just uh, just thought of some just some of them. I, I, the ones I gave you are not necessarily the most, oh my goodness, this is the most commonly used progressions ever in life. <laughs> but they are used in different songs. Any other questions? Checking to see. Do, do, do. So the, oh. Okay. I'll wait another couple of seconds. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like to have dead space when we're on air, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I've heard my mouth long enough. I'm ready to hear some of these panel people talk now. So I can take a break. Hola. What the world was that? <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway. <laughs> how do oh, how do you create diminished chords? Okay. Well, we actually I actually talked about diminished chords. And how to build them, I think either Wednesday or Thursday of the next week. But I will, I'll, I'll, I'll just do, I'm gonna do a, when I say quick, this is gonna be super quick. All right. <laughs> Cause I actually did a live stream with this already. Let me switch back over. Okay. Let's just, we'll, we'll just look at C major to keep it, um, keep it quick. Now, um, diminished chord. Let's start with the major chord first. Okay. You got C, E, G, right? 
C E G. Now to make C major a minor chord, what you're going to do is you're going to take the third note of the C scale, which is what C D E. E is the third note. You're going to drop that down a half step. Okay. So now you got C minor. Now to make this C minor a C diminished chord, you're going to have to take the fifth note of the C scale, which is G, and you lower that a half step also. Once you lower that a half step, now you have a diminished chord. So you can do that in any key. Like if you're in the key of B flat, here's your B flat major chord. That's minor. And if you take this F down, you have diminished. Okay. If we're in the key of A flat, here go your A flat major chord. Okay. And if you want to make it minor, you take the third lower it a half step if you want to make it diminished you take the fifth lower it a half step now you have a flat diminish major minor diminished if you're in the key of f major f major is f a c right if you want to make it minor take the third note lower it a half step you got f minor if you want to make it diminished take the fifth note lower it a half step now you have f diminished you can do that with every major chord you can start with the major chord i mean eventually i would hope that you will know what the chords are automatically you know what i'm saying but if you're still a beginner and you're still learning then you might have to go to the major chord first to figure it out so let's say we're in the key of a major right and um you're like okay well that's minor so this must be diminished there you go. And then you can go ahead on with your life. While we're here with the diminished chords, I might as well go ahead on and just do the um, diminished seven chord also. Might as well show you those two. So because a lot of times when you're reading chord sheets, especially if it's my chord sheets or you're reading sheet music where they have the chords on top of the sheet music, you'll see a lot of times where it won't just say C diminished, but you, it might say C diminished seven. OK, so I'll just show you that real quick. If you're in the key of C major, uh, you go to your C major seven chord first. OK, you start there. That's the one, the three, the five and the seventh note in the C major scale. OK, and what you can do is to make it a dominant chord. All you have to do is take the seventh note and you lower it a half step. OK, boom, boom, boom. Now, if you want to make this a minor seven chord, all you have to do is take the third note, lower it a half step, right? C minor seven. Now, if you want to make this a half diminished, um, a half diminished, also known as a minor seven flat five chord, then all you have to do is take the fifth note, which is G, and lower it a half step. Now, this is called half diminished. And usually, instead of saying half diminished, you will usually hear it called C minor seven flat five. And if you want to make this a completely and fully diminished seven chord, then you're going to have to take that dominant seven. Remember, we started on major seven and then we lowered it a half step to make it dominant. Well, you're going to have to do what is called double flatten it. So that means you take it down another half step. So now you're playing what is called B double flat. Once you do that, that is a fully diminished C chord. OK, C diminished seven. And in theory, you're supposed to call this a B double flat. OK, but if you call it a um, I won't bite your head off. OK, you know what I'm saying? But technically, in theory, you should call this B double flat and you can do that with any major chord. I'll do it with F major and then that's it, because like I said, I spent a lot of time on this uh, earlier in the week. But if you have an F major seven chord. You can make it a dominant seven by taking the seventh and lowering a half step, right? So take this, take it down a half step. If you want to make it a minor seven, take the third, lower it a half step. All right, that's minor seven. Okay, now if you want to make this a minor seven flat five, also known as half diminished, take the C, lower it a half step. Now you have F minor seven flat five. And if you want to make it fully diminished, take that uh, the dominant seven, lower it another half step. 
and now you have F diminished seven. Okay. So you can do that. Um, so that's how you um, make a diminished chord. Uh, like I said, until you actually get used to it, you might have to start with the major chord or the major seven chord first and go ahead on and just slide your fingers down. And then eventually what you want to do is get that muscle memory. You know what I'm saying? Play it a couple of times, you know, get that thing. used, get your muscles used to it. You know what I'm saying? Get all that all up, but get all the all, you know, get all that stuff going. And you know what I'm saying? And uh, and that would be it. So let me see. So you say you're just a rookie, just getting your um getting your feet wet. That's cool. Denise is all good. All of us was rookies at one point. So don't it's, it's all good. It is all good. Let me see if there's any other questions. Uh, I had a question of subject, but do I send you a private message in Patreon for a request? Um, actually, you can. Uh, well, are oh, are you a, if you're a twenty dollar member in Patreon, then yeah, you can send it to me there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, if, if you already if you're not a Patreon member, then all you have to do is um, just send twenty dollars to the PayPal account. You know what I'm saying? That way it's not. Um, somebody said Brandy sleep. <laughs> uh, see, I don't know why she laying down. She's she's on the internet. She's live. I don't know why she laying down. But oh well. <laughs> then they want to get on me when I fall asleep. At least I was sitting up when I fell asleep. But anyway, we're going to um, leave that alone because y'all was laughing at me again on Thursday about that. So <laughs> Rocky said, "Please wake up, Brandy." <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> If there's no other questions, we can go ahead on and move on with the live stream. But um, uh, thank you all. For, I know some of you only joined the live stream just for the um, lesson. If you joined this live stream late and you did not see the beginning of it, uh, we're, we're going to be on for a little while. So, you know what I'm saying? But once the live stream is over, give you two chance to do whatever it does to the video. It'll pop back up and you can always check it back, you know. Uh, look at the live stream from the beginning if you want to get the full lesson. Again, sometime this evening after this live stream is over, I will create a playlist that will have just the live streams where I was teaching the music theory, starting with building scales and then building all those funky chords that we went over. The extended chords is all of them, all, of them, all the funky ones, you know what I'm saying? Only the funky chords, so. I wear some shades that way no one can tell that you're sleeping. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh they really focusing on you uh sleeping up, right? <laughs> uh Denise, uh, I'm glad this was very informative. Like glad, glad, glad to hear that. All right, so let's return back to the panel. And I see we got uh we had a little change up here. We got Chibity Chop now. Brick is still in the background. I guess Brick, you must have had to drop out or something. So Mike popped in. But you can stay backstage if you want, because I'm sure somebody else will pop out. Uh, so what's going on with you, 112 DZ and Mike? How y'all be? We haven't said hello to y'all yet. Yeah. Oh, man. Virus, man. What, what'd you say, 112? You said you got the virus? No, no. Oh, oh that's what it sounded like you said. I was like to say, what? <laughs> Get off here then, man. You might spread it to us via the internet. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say? Uh, no, what did you say? One, I didn't hear what you said. What did you say? No, I said, uh, I just can't wait until this virus is over. Oh, is that what you said? Okay. I was going to be say, waiting a long time, brother. I was sitting here like, what the world's like? He said, I got the virus. I was about to say, what the what? <laughs> well, you better get off here, man. You're going to email that joint to us, man. We don't want no. Um... Uh, I didn't <laughs> throw you backstage, Brick Jones. I guess you must have popped out or whatever. I didn't throw you backstage. I didn't throw you backstage. Uh, okay, what's going on with you, Mike? Oh, uh, not too much, man. I didn't, I didn't catch the beginning of the stream, man. So, uh, you know, I have to go over and look over again because remember, I told you, you know, I have to learn how to play in numbers, man. And this is important. I only know the uh, the C major scale, and you know, if you guys uh, look at my uh, Instagram, was I think it was about like two weeks ago. I did the uh, the C major scale, uh, mm -hmm. you know as best as I could uh, remember it, man. So this is good stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you check out the live streams, you know, have you, 
you know, uh, putting up 24 bucks and uh, the guy never tells you what to do. He, he's got videos up and, you know, he ain't really showing you nothing unless you give him 24 bucks for one lesson. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, you can go. Uh, well, my PayPal is in the description of this link. If you don't want to send that 24 to me, it's all good. Or the super chat button is right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's the super chat button right there. You can just click that and send it to me right now. You know, it's all good. <laughs> nah, but it's the scales and the, the, the scales and the number system, man, because you have to know those chords. You know? Well, the scales, I, I I did the scales, I think, on more than one live stream. I know the I, the first live stream, I really focused on the scales, how to figure out all of your scales. And then when I came back the with the following live stream, right? We we I, I still focused on scales. Like I, right. I think I went over it again, and I'm basically taught you how to figure out all of your major scales using the formula: whole step, whole step, half step, mm. whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. If you use that formula, I don't care what note you start with on the piano, whatever note you start with, it, for whatever you can close your eyes and mm. wherever your finger lands on, land on. If you move a whole step, a whole step, a half step. A whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. You just played the major scale, right. and once and once you play that major scale, then you can start building up all the chords in that scale. Well, one you three know, five major, right. one three five seven major seven, and so forth. Go ahead, Mike. Well, well you know what? Um, I have a uh, a little theory type thing here. Since you know everybody in here is basically a church player, um, I, I look at it like this: like a, a C, a C major, right? I say that the C is God because that's the first, uh, you know, the first one, right? right. I couldn't okay. follow this when you said this on Instagram, but go ahead. Right. It didn't now, make sense to me, but go ahead. Okay, now, now, <laughs> just hear me out on this. Right? Uh -huh. It's all good. The uh, God, of, of course, we know that God has a family structure, right? He puts yeah. the husband first, the wife second, and then you got the kids, and then you got the dog, old Fred Fido, right? So I said, since the. <laughs> Since the G is the fifth of the C, they both sound good together when man is walking with God because he goes to God for instruction, right? Okay. 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 And then now that and, and that's a major. That that's a major chord. The F is sub subdominant, and that's that's also a major chord because those are the, the husband and the wife are the parents, right? The D would be the younger brother. The D D minor, right? D, D minor, minor. Is, the is younger brother is a minor. Yeah, that's, right. Yeah, D minor in the key of C. Yeah. Right. And then you have your E minor. That's also a minor. That's a kid. So that's the older brother. Right. And then you go over to the A, which is the other minor. That's the daughter of the family. Okay. That's also a minor chord. And then you have the B, which is diminished. That's the dog. And the reason why I say it's diminished is because it has four legs, even though you're only playing three keys, but diminished. Well, if you're playing the dominance, I mean, diminished seven chord. Uh, well, yeah. Keys. <laughs> yeah. Man, well, I was going to get to that. And then I tried to put sevens in my video and, uh, you know, I tried to spice it up a little bit. But that's how I remember that that order major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like God has a family structure. So, you know, that's how I remember it. Okay. Well, if that helps anybody, hey, it's all good. Like I, yeah. I, I remember when you said it, I was like, What is he talking that, that, about? That didn't help me. Well, no, I'm just saying it didn't help me. It's like I'm like, I'm like, I couldn't follow it to say, oh, right. Like, I mean, I, I had like uh like my um and and doc um Drea knows and Dr. Conway, he was my theory teacher, and when he was teaching us the order of sharps. He gave right. a ridiculous thing. He said, "Fat cats get drunk after eating beer," and we was How like, you "What beer? <laughs> it, don't, it doesn't matter." But I tell you one thing: eating breakfast was mine. I must have had Doctor O here. Yeah, I had. Uh, he said beer. Doctor <laughs> Doctor uh, uh, Conway said beer, but it doesn't have to make sense. But this is twenty something years later, and I still know that that's the order of sharps: <laughs> F C G D A E. B. So I'm just saying, you know, stuff like that is, you know, that like is makes things easier for me to remember. Fact but yeah, so but but, but, but you you you're too busy trying to make the sentence make sense. Don't worry about the sentence making <laughs> sense. 
just think about the fact that 20 something years later, I still haven't forgotten it. Because it, part of it is because it doesn't make sense. You don't, yeah, it don't have to make sense. Right. Uh, <laughs> I don't to remember that. the order. Just throw something in there as long as they're all sharps. All, all, all like, hey, man, it's, it's just the order of sharps. And then I think for the order of flats, he said bead because B-E-A-D spells the word bead. So bead. And then he just said greatest common factor. Again, it makes no sense. Bead, greatest common factor. But I bet you I passed my, my, my theory test. Because 20 something years later, I still know that my order of flats is B E A D, <laughs> and then I go greatest common factor. Oh, GCF. Okay, boom. <laughs> so, again, wow. it doesn't have to make sense, you know, it's just whatever, whatever, you know. Uh, oh, the um, babyface versus Teddy Riley that's tonight. I thought that was tomorrow. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh, I thought that was tomorrow for some reason. Okay, man, that's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. I guess I have to watch the replay of that because obviously I'm on here. What time does it supposed to start? Anyone knows what time? Because I know they're both on the West Coast, so maybe it might not start till later. Can we look it up. Yeah, if you yeah, if you can. It's a memory trick called nonsense association. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it works for me. Association. But um, um, but yeah, like I said earlier, uh, we definitely had some tracks that were submitted this evening for the beat con, you know, what we do every Saturday. And but before we play that, uh, the homie, <laughs> Mr. Ron for life, took it upon himself and said he wanted to make a remix to my opening theme. So I, I, I think I'm gonna go ahead on and take a second here. And I want y'all to tell me what you think of his remix to my opening theme. Now, you need to know what it sounds like normally. So normally, it, do I still have that screen up? No, I don't. I don't think I still have it. Let me see. If I do, oh yeah, I do. I'll just play it. I'll just play it again. This is what the opening theme sounds like on my channel. All right, check this out. Can y'all hear that? Barely. Not really. Hold on for a second. I think I. Uh, I think I know what I need to do. Hold on. Do, do, do. All right, here we go. We're going to try it again. Here we go. All right. Can y'all hear it now? Yeah. Okay. On the piano, but you don't know what the chords are, and that makes you really sad. Let me turn your frown upside down. I got what you need. Welcome to my channel. Name is House of Jazz. The piano tutorial. Man. Okay, so that's what it usually sounds like. Well, this is what uh Ron. Uh, did to that.
So what are you, what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> I, th I say it's definitely different <laughs> from how I originally did it. <laughs> just got to mix it down a little bit. And uh, at the end, when you have just those keys running, instead of just stopping it, uh, at least like have like a, a, a kick drum or something like that, or some hi hats going out with the with the Indian piano stuff, and you're pretty good. It is dope, though. Okay. Any other uh, comments or uh, opinions? I don't have a producer's ear, but I thought it was really, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think it was sweet. I like it. It is dope. It was hot. It's yeah, nice. So now I'm gonna have to. So yeah. So, so now I'm gonna have to uh, put my vocals on that thing. So hopefully, maybe next week when I start the live stream, I can um, uh, start it with that <laughs> with that remix. So we'll we'll see how that how that works. So since this uh, thing is going down with Teddy Riley and Babyface tonight, who do y'all think gonna win? Just interested. Who do you think going to win? Mm. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's a I, I don't know. Can you tell me a little bit about? It? I I hadn't heard it about this. I really, I honestly don't know exactly what they're going to do. I really don't know. All we know, and and they're not enemies, so they're they're friends. But they're supposed to go their music. They're supposed to put their music against each other. I don't know if it's going to be a concert or what. Well, it's I'm basically not, been happening. The past two weeks, a lot of producer, hip hop producers, and DJs, they've been getting together, so called battling. Like the last one was um, DJ Premier and, and Reza. Yeah, they was going in, man. They, they, they were going in on their pot, they, all they, they beats, going in. and their tracks that they um done before. So they were like, yo, it should be a good one. Let's do one with Babyface. And um, with Babyface and um, 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 Teddy, Teddy and Kenny. Let Teddy and Kenny have a little battle. But you know what the good thing is about all of this, though? Since all these DJs and stuff are going live, you don't hear them playing this crap music, man. They're playing really good stuff. Yeah, I was checking out Biz. He did some dope stuff. And, um, and then there's this guy from England. There's this guy that kept posting him. This uh called the Silver Fox. This um like real album, he got to be around maybe in sixties and seventies, and he's dropping nothing but hot, hot music while he DJs. Yeah. So you know it's good. You, you, everybody gets exposed to different stuff now, so people could get to choose what they want instead of having it on that um that ten ten song playlist forced down your throat. Well, they were supposed to start with ten songs, and then they wound up going to twenty songs. And then they just wound up just taking it to the next level and was like, let's keep going. Because mm -hmm. everybody, I mean, like they had they had almost a million viewers. D-Nice had a million viewers yeah. uh, a couple weeks back. Yeah. Uh, Jazzy yeah, Jeff. Yeah, everybody's praising D-Nice. So. Yeah. Yeah. Jazzy Jeff, he went on earlier today. Cash Money yeah. went on last night. Grandmaster Kaz, today's his 60th birthday. And I think he might still be on. And wow. I mean, like, everybody's been going in. Tony Touch, Z Trip, he was... He went in, uh, Kid Capri, uh, DJ Scratch. Uh, I mean, all the all, all the big heads, man. They they going. Oh, yeah. in. Matter of they fact, they were, I was listening to uh, um when um Scratch and Jeff was um doing the forty five tour. Yeah. Um, they met up with Richard Rich, Rich Medina. Yeah. Met him in the Twin Cities, and they played Rich Medina's set on Facebook. That was yeah. nice. Yeah. That was one of the few ones I sat there listening all the way through. Yeah, Rich Medina, man, he's a good dude, man. He reminds me of Gil Scott Heron, man. <laughs> Rich Medina right, reminds me of Gil Scott Heron, man. He does. But yeah, uh, everybody. What, uh, what station is supposed to be on? It's on Instagram, Instagram. or Facebook. All you got to do uh -oh. is just follow him on uh, either one of those forums. Um, he don't let you know. <clears throat> like, your friend, like some of your friends will like, let you know if they're yeah. into those DJs and stuff like that. I mean, you can actually go live on Instagram if you want, and you know you could do a piano session. You know, I mean, all you gotta do is just go on Instagram live, <laughs> well, or Facebook live. Like I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure exactly how they're doing this battle tonight, but um, if it's a battle between whose songs are better, who do you think is going to stand out more? 
Babyface music or Teddy Riley's music? That's what that was my initial question. But see, here's the thing: is <laughs> they're, they're not they're not going up against each other with their own songs. What they're going to do is they're going to be playing everybody's stuff, and oh. you know, and what the and and the people who are tuned in are going to be picking. Okay, well, this this person in this round, he he played the better song than like you know, uh, Teddy Riley might have played a better song than Babyface for this particular round, or Babyface might have played a particular better song. You know, we like this better than we like that. You know what I mean? And, you know, depending on how many rounds they go, it's going to determine the winner by who did the best songs and all, you know, depending, like, let's say they, let's say they got a 20 song set. Okay. All right. They had 20 songs to play each of them. And with each song, whoever picks the best song, you know what I mean? That person won that round. Okay, so okay. they're not gonna, they're not going up against each other with their own music. They're gonna be playing everybody's stuff. Oh yeah, you remember this? Bang! You remember this? Bang! You remember this? I mean, like you know, Babyface might play a Boys to Men song that everybody like, Motown Philly back again, and then Teddy Riley might play uh, Back to Life, Back to Reality, and you know what I'm saying. But is it going to be live music or yeah, are they just going to be, be on Instagram? They're going to be on Instagram. You got to check it out to see. No, my question is, are they going to have like two live bands or are they just going to be playing tracks? Like They're DJing? probably just going to be playing tracks. Probably tracks in the house. You can't. Oh. I mean, like with this COVID nineteen, I'm not, I'm not like, all that. Have a whole bunch of people. Well, no, Teddy Riley. No, Teddy Riley just did a concert like a week ago on his website, uh, and he uh, he had a band. Oh, well, <laughs> and, and, and it was live. Did. It was Bob live. It, it was too. in his house. He did it Erica in his Bob house. Did it too. Yeah, he, had, did he it. had a drummer. Yeah. He had a bass. He had maybe two keyboard players. Oh, they might. And, and, mean, and then he had Dave Hollister there. Dave Hollister. That some two, I guess, new members of Black Street and him. They yeah. So well, some of might. them are still getting together. Yeah. They might. They they might do it that way. Hey, who knows, man? Erica's charging like a dollar. Oh, <laughs> she like paid me f that right? <laughs> yeah, she brought a whole crew down to the basement in her house, mm. and they did the thing. I I don't know if I'm all that excited if all they're doing is just playing tracks and just I I I would be more excited if they were going against each other with their music or something like yeah, live. You just, love, you just yeah. love us beating up on each other. I have no love, black love. You want black on black crime? No, I want no. You didn't. You must have didn't hear what I just said. I said I want live music. Is what I said. I yeah, want babyface. I want babyface to come out and hit that whip appeal and go like somebody told me. And then I want Teddy Riley to come out and be like talking about before I live. That's what I'm talking about. I, I want like that. I don't want just well. I'm just going to play this record knows. and they you might play this record. Way. They might yeah. do it that way. I mean, this is the first time that I've uh, actually heard about it. I, they they might. I mean, heck, they, each of them could be sitting at a piano or something. You know, I mean, who knows? Right. That's but what I'm. I'm like sitting there thinking. I'm like, wow. Teddy really had a lot of classics behind his belt. Uh, uh last time I it checked, really, it really throws face. me off. <laughs> it really yeah. throws me off of what he's done. Yeah, I guess because we're around the same age. I was like, he ain't been doing it that long. But well, he's been doing it real long. No, I mean, him and Babyface have been doing it a long time, though. Babyface has a lot of hits that I remember finding out. And, like, Babyface did that, too? <laughs> he had some stuff in the 80s. I had no idea he did. Like, like I think Rock Steady by the Whispers. I remember when that song was out. I, I hate think, that song. Well, you might hate it, but guess what? I, I, that love, that I love that song. I love that song. I love the Whispers, but I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the Whispers, and I love that song. That is the worst song that they have ever <laughs> that made. That is one of the best songs they ever did. Man, you crazy. <laughs> the I, the I love it. I mean, that album. Crazy. Lost and that, turned out. On I might be album. crazy, but I, I used to rock jam that song all the time. It wasn't until maybe 10 years later I found out that was a baby face song. I was oh, like, wait God. a minute, baby face did that? <laughs> so, I mean, they both been doing it for a long time, and they've been doing it with songs that you didn't even know they were behind. Yeah, baby, and Teddy's been doing it with right. a lot of different genres of music. Yeah, yeah. So, a lot of house music. Keith Swiss early work was all Teddy. Yeah. Teddy Riley did hip hop. Yeah. He did the show. Oh yeah, he did. Right. He he did, did Kumo, 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 Kumo D's producer. 
Kumo D. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's a lot, a lot of history, and it all depends on you know who you are. Like I was never a West Coast solo guy like that. So there'll be some hits. I'll be like, oh yeah, that was cool. But mm -hmm. then I hear Teddy drop something like, oh that was the ish, yo, that's what. And it sparks different memories. Well. If you had to do a one gotta go and the person you got rid of that all their music is gone, who who would you rather go have gone? Like, would you rather Babyface be gone or would you rather Teddy Raleigh be gone? And remember, if Bye you get Kenny. rid of them, you get rid of the whole catalog. Bye, mm. Kenny. If oh I man, you know what? Man, Bye, Brick. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Bye, Brick. Let me kick you off. You thought I kicked? I didn't kick you off the last time, but I'm about to kick you off this time. If I had to pick like, one of them had to go, far. I would say the uh, Teddy Raleigh. Oh my Riley God! Had they to kill go. Kenny. Yep. Okay, go. Mike, you can stay. You heard Mike. My Mike said he would have to kick Teddy off. Mike, yeah. you can stay. Okay. Uh, Dre, who <laughs> baby face on that one, man? Hey, Dre, who, who, who would stay? I who, didn't want to answer that one. <laughs> that's why I asked you. Nah. <laughs> that is hard, that's though. That's that really hard. <laughs> I'm talking about their catalog. I, I don't care if they sung it or somebody, they wrote it for somebody else. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know, but that's precisely <laughs> why I can't like, pick one. Nah, I this that, that's not fun. You gotta pick one. <laughs> I, mean, I love both of them. That is really hard. Like, I wouldn't even pit Babyface against Teddy Riley. Like, they give me two totally different things. Exactly. I mean, Teddy Riley had his own um sound. I mean, hello, genre. <laughs> then again, so did Babyface, though. Yeah, Babyface had his own sound too, no doubt. I won't say it's necessarily a genre. New Jack Swing became a genre. Yeah, Teddy yeah. Riley is an innovator in that yeah. sense. But mm -hmm. again, Babyface is just like your, he's just like, he's like a go-to person when it comes to writing hit songs. You know what I'm saying? He wrote really great songs, not only for himself, but for just the mm -hmm. you know? First thing I heard from That's Babyface was a song by the deal called Body Talk. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, 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 I remember Fast that. Phrase, Body Talk. Mm -hmm. you buy and that was in the early 80s man now the deal did day and night right yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah that's occasions. my favorite that's oh, my that favorite occasions. song by the deal yeah that's Isn't my that favorite baby one. Too? Yeah, yeah yeah i think baby yeah. face wrote on that one yeah, um, two occasions that. it's called yeah, two, two occasions, occasions. Two yeah, occasions. yeah. yeah. Come on now. I'll let, like, you can't get rid of that song. Right. That's why I said, you know, so you got to pick, you know. Are you going to get rid of Before I Let You Go? Absolutely and not. get rid of Teddy? Or are you going to get rid of Two Occasions oh, and get rid of Babyface? You got to get rid of God. And I cannot get rid of God. <laughs> and then again, you know, you also got to get rid of how you like me now. Yeah. I'm not getting rid of God. <laughs> Unless you LL or somebody, you got to keep how you like me now in the wild, wild oh. west. Oh, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I guess Teddy had a broader range in what he could do because he had the new Jack Swing, but he could also write ballads. Yeah, and he could. He yeah, had a wide yeah. range of what he could produce. I mean, I guess Babyface did too, but I see Babyface more as like a refined musician, singer, songwriter kind of guy. So right, let me ask you this: if, confused between them two, if Teddy Riley didn't have Aaron Hall with him. Would you think that he'd be able to stand up to Babyface if he was just by himself? I mean, Without Aaron Hall life? brought the songs to life. Yeah. Ain't no doubt about it. He brought. Because he brought. It wasn't Aaron life. Hall. There was a who was the next group in Black Street. There was Dave Hollister and the guy that came before him. There's there's Aaron Halls. Oh my gosh, I love Aaron Hall. Please don't take this the wrong way, but Aaron Hall come a dime a dozen. <laughs> Gospel. I mean, he just sounds a straight gospel, gospel like a gospel singer. A dozen. Really good gospel singers that can do all of those runs. They, I mean, and there's probably tons of them in New York that can sing just as good and better than him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. But uh no. <laughs> I feel like, like don't take that the wrong way. I love hearing Aaron Hall sing, you know. Uh-huh. Oh, he's trying to talk, but he you, you muted. Who I didn't mute any my hands in my pockets. Brick, he was talking, he was saying something. Who was Brick Jones? He was talking. Maybe he wasn't talking to us. Sorry. Okay, I was gonna really say yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I can't. I'm I'm not gonna do that one. You already. Brick, your mic is out. Brick, you you Brick, muted your mic. <laughs> I don't know if he can hear us. Brick, your microphone is muted. Yo, my Brick, hands Brick. in my pocket. I didn't do it. Uh, here he come. 
I didn't do it. <laughs> there you go. Now you can talk. Now we can oh, hear you. I was saying I wasn't even counting the guy guy stuff with Teddy Riley. Mm -hmm. And like she said, I don't know if you didn't hear it. I said like, I could go walk three blocks up and go to Washington Temple and find the next Teddy Riley. I mean, um, the next Aaron Hall. <laughs> Why y'all dogging Aaron Hall? I'm not. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. It's the truth. I'm just saying. I, I am. Man. I am because he was. He's. He's pretty much your modern day David Ruffin. Right. Okay. Probably, you that's know, a, a uh, uh, not Ruffin not as bad. Ruffin. Not as bad as Bobby Brown, but on the line of David Ruffin, like, <laughs> oh, like he thought he was guys. This is me. It's like, nah, it really ain't you, bro. Okay. And then, then, then Teddy Riley went and stole his whole style, and then nobody cares about him no more like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, well, he only had one good, well, really, one good song on his own, and that was that that slow joint that he had, the "I Miss You" joint. I mean, after that, I man, miss he you. Uh, he I'm talking about off. you, babe. Hey. I like the one after that, though. I like the he had right after that. He said, um. Oh man, it, he the the single right after "I Miss You" was good. You got in the vid, in the video, the his girl they broke up or whatever. She was dating somebody else, and dude hit her in public, and they like beat the dude down. I'm trying to. Oh, hold up! Before I go to sleep, don't forget to say a prayer. Say a prayer when you need me. That's what it's called. When you need me, I'll oh, yeah, be okay. right yeah, yeah, by yeah. your yeah. side. That one, right. that was okay. tight too. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a good singer, but yeah, he's, not, like he's not it. Rocky, he's talking, a good singer. Rocky talking about Teddy's jam. Of course, Teddy's jam was the was the bomb. Yeah, yeah, man. No, <laughs> <laughs> and that's funny. I didn't like Teddy's jam. <laughs> I mean, no, he was. Damn. I mean, he was doing his thing. Jam, oh, jam, oh, oh, Teddy, jam, oh. You know how Aaron get into it, right? Bum bum dina, dum dum dina, dum dum di de, yeah. You know that, yeah. You know. I mean, well, apparently, it, Public know. Enemy liked it. Why you say that? <laughs> because they use it in Fight to Power. Oh uh -oh. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they use a whole lot of stuff in Fight to Power, man. I mean, they, man, oh, you gosh. talk about putting. Putting a whole lot of stuff together, man, in one song. I mean, dude, they had to use about what, maybe five or six different samples. Yeah, Finn die trying. He hit it. Rump shaker. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, but seriously, if you had, I mean, I mean, we y'all y'all know how our game worked, right? I mean, if you had, I mean, absolutely had to get rid of someone. And I mean, which one would it be? I mean, who can you live without? Can you live without all the stuff that Teddy did, or all the stuff that Babyface did? And I love both of them. I'm I'm like, yo, Teddy got plenty of songs yeah, that, I, that, 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 that I want to continue to hear. But he and Lord good. knows, Babyface has written a lot of songs that I want to be able to hear too. But if you had Goodbye, to get rid of one. Goodbye, well, Kenny. Well, you said Kenny. Mike said uh, Teddy. Uh, Dre is trying to not answer the question. She's dealing with her son right now, so I'll give her a pass just for the next minute. So, um, the Brett. <laughs> Brandy, if you absolutely had to pick someone and say, you know what? You got to go. I'm sorry. Who, who is it? Who you got? Somebody got to get kicked out the room because somebody said face got to go. Somebody said face got to go. So, like, well, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> right. Metal slugs. I mean, with me, I like both of them, too. I mean. I, I, Lucy, I love hey. both of them. Music, they, what they've done musically. But <laughs> I'm a hip hopper, so I had to kick out baby face. There you go. Okay, Brandy. Got All right, Brandy. Quick. It's nice to know <laughs> you. I'm going to uh, remove you from the um, oh, panel now. You and Brick can go backstage Listen. now. <laughs> See, I can't, that's the same. That's the same reason I really couldn't choose between Babyface and Mint Condition. That's kind of hard. I mean, um, not Babyface. Boys the um, Men. That's what I meant to say. Boys the yeah. Men. Boys the Men against Mint Condition. 
That oh, was a no. few weeks. That was a few weeks ago, man. <laughs> I'm glad I missed that one because I guess I'd have been arguing. Of course. Well, you argue every time you come on. We gotta argue. With no, you, so that, that, that's, that's the rule. That's nah, the rule, man. Minnesota, Minnesota rocks, baby. I can't. I, uh. Uh-uh. Okay, but okay. I so put, I so wouldn't Mark, even put boys the man in it. It's, there you first go. Of all, there you go. Bring it in. Bring. It's self-contained. So that that kills that that puts boys the man out the equation. Go. 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 See, I, I love that. What's his name? I Keep the tradition. I I like them both for different reasons. They give me different things. So yep. And they What's both up, have two bodies of work. So. It's funny that you said self-contained. Do you realize that Boys and Men's first album So I think maybe 8 million or probably worldwide more than 10 million? Do you know most of those songs were songs written before they even had a contract? Yeah, well, so so well. I mean, I'm just saying y'all saying self-contained and I'm like, wait a minute. Before they even had a, they, they they were they they said they were singing Please Don't Go and stuff like that at Shows before they even had a contract, so you want to talk about self contained? Like, hello, some you know, some of those now they didn't write the whole album. I mean, Motown Philly was Dallas Austin, but I think they co wrote some of the, some of that other stuff, a lot of this stuff. So, a lot of that first album that's like 10 million plus copies sold, a half at least half the album was written before they ever even had a record deal. So if you want to talk about so, see they're bigger like the two I album now the two yeah the two album yeah that was Babyface and Jam and Lewis they you know that you know Babyface wrote I'll Make Love to You Jimmy Jam Terry Lewis wrote On Bended Knee Babyface did When Water Runs Dry I uh, uh-huh. give you that but if you go back to that first album it was Dallas Austin you know he did the Motown Philly and produced a lot of the other stuff but then they had songs that, like Nathan. If I'm not mistaken, Nate wrote "Please Don't Go." <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like the music too. I'm talking about the music too. Like, hello. So, I mean, they might not was a instrumental band then, as much as they are now. They get on stage and they play instruments, but they sure enough behind the scenes was don't playing some type of instruments. But and I'm just saying. You said know. about being able to collaborate because. Mm-hmm. You know when you're when you're in a, uh, a band that's all in house, that's you know that works to your advantage because you can keep everything in house. But sometimes collaborating with somebody else can open you up to a wider audience. Yep, in a, they've they've done done in a different time. time. They've done that. You know, Stokely. I mean, Stokely carries on a great condition, um, a great tradition of lead singers. That just the drummers that became great lead singers. Oh yeah, Stokely. I mean, Stokely is the bomb, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he was the original drummer, you know, and is. No, but drummer. I think about all the original drummers that from what's the guy um, from um Teddy Pendergrass, Stokely, Phil. Collins. I mean, Mar- I, I heard Marvin Gaye used to be a drummer for Motown Records yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Was he in a band or he just played sessions? Sessions, I believe. Right. I believe he was a session drummer. Yeah, yeah. he wasn't that great of a drummer, but he was a drummer. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, no, that's what he said. Now he said that he wasn't great too. Yeah, yeah he said he wasn't that great, but yeah, Maurice oh, he was a drummer. Ramsey Lewis's drummer. <laughs> Who? Maurice White. Yeah, oh, Maurice yeah. White was. Yeah, you're right. I did hear that before. I've heard that before. Yep. Yeah, they but, went back. They they all did on um, Sun Goddess together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but before, but even before all that, I'm talking about like in the 50s and whatnot. In the early 60s, he was uh, Ramsey Lewis's drummer. Yep. Before we yeah. heard of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Right, right. Yeah, no, I've heard that before. I've heard Somebody that. Somebody just said Frankie Beverly was percussionist for Marvin Gaye. Hmm. Oh, now that's the first time I heard that. Yeah. Wow. I know he was a protege, but I didn't know well, if he um. Check this out. I tell you who. Tell me, God, might know more about that. I'll tell you who used to play with Frankie Beverly that might surprise you. My father. Okay. I'm not surprised you're from Philly. Frankie's from Philly. Yeah. My father. The music. Yeah. Dope. yeah. Well, what, 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 what what's the name of that band? Flavor Future Soul or something. What's the name of song? The group? Before I got changed, I'll maze. Uh I don't I, I don't know. Yeah, it had a, name, a different name before he changed it to Maze. And they did have a they did have a different name, yeah. But uh, what I instrument did your uh, father play? 
My father it's plays uh, flute and uh, saxophone. Okay. Cool. Yeah. cool. Nice. What's up, yeah. boy from um, LTD? Jeffrey um. Jeffrey Osborne. Jeffrey Osborne was a drummer. His his happened funny because the dude didn't want to um sing love ballad. <laughs> And so Skip Scarborough was like, yo, listen, somebody gonna sing this song. Yeah, yo, Jeff, come here and try this. He's like, all right. And then that was it. The guy get a lead who, uh, when Lionel band. Rich left the Commodores, the guy who was a drummer uh, took over the lead singer. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the dark skin dude, I can't remember his name, but the dark skin guy, he took over the lead for that after Lionel Richie left. When they did that song for uh, all the people who died, for Marvin Gaye and Jackie Wilson. Uh, what was that song? Night nice shift. Oh, oh right, nice right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was dedicated to yeah, a lot of the fallen artists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, but going back, okay. I mean, I, we we went on a little tangent about drummers that became singers, but you know, <laughs> back to this baby face and uh, <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> <Robinson. laughs> Kenny, Kenny back. gone. I was. Y'all can talk amongst yourselves. I'll listen. Okay, hey D, you've been quiet. Well, what, what's your thought? You sitting there holding your chin like you, you like you're deep in thought. What's your thought? What's up, D? <laughs> what's up, Mike? Um, oh, that's right. Morris Day was a drummer. That's right. <laughs> All right, go ahead, D. I don't know. Uh, it, it is a hard one um, between Babyface and Teddy, but I, I have to say, bye, Teddy. Okay, good, D. You can stay on. Cool, no problem. You cool with me? <laughs> uh, look at Brick, but look I gotta go back. Brick. But I gotta go back to Dre because Dre still hasn't officially answered the question yet. <laughs> she she she's giving oh, your microphone's muted, Dre. She's giving like very you know well spoken you know you know vague you know, answer, words to okay. us, but she ain't give us the answer yet. I want the answer. <laughs> that's, um, that's hard. I can't do. It. <laughs> Oh, man, how am I gonna do that? <laughs> it's like I mean, you got you got to think about it. Like, whose music? If you had, I mean, the beauty of it is, I mean, at the end of the day, we don't have to get rid of anybody. I'm just saying, you know, just in the in in, in a game sense, you know what I'm saying. By the way, uh, Rocky said you're too young to know, um, D. <laughs> he said it. I'm just letting you know that he said D. He said D is too young to know. <laughs> Dre is like, look, uh, Richard, I am not going to know about <laughs> what <laughs> about um Teddy Riley or Babyface is what he's he, he, he was joking about. I, I'm assuming joking about that <laughs> about oh well, about your answer about your answer. Okay, I'm but yet yeah. I'm going to say Teddy Riley. Let go of Teddy Riley. Okay. Yeah. No. Then what made you say him over um Babyface? Well, only because if you take everything away from them except their own person, mm -hmm. they can sit down at a piano and play through his catalog and sing it. Yep, and and, and on a guitar. Right, and <laughs> I, I connect with that. Teddy Riley yeah. is um, just as gifted. Oh, yeah, he, he can play keyboard too. He's, he's gifted in a way that... Babyface is gifted like him too, but I think he's gifted more in the sense of being a, a producer or like an impresario, somebody that is able to spot talent and create music to fit that talent. Okay. Man, let so, me tell you, I've seen Babyface do this one time, and this was before the song came out. Y'all remember uh, the candy, Boston Baked Beans? Yeah, the candy, yeah, I, I like it. <laughs> Dude had a box of Boston Baked Beans. I, I kid you not. Okay. And he was he used that to make a song, and that song turned out to be for the cool in you. But he would he had a he had a box of Boston baked beans and was shaking it up while he was doing the song. Uh -huh. The same rhythm is uh for the cool in you is like be my Boston baked beans. <laughs> and he had a, he had a box. Wow, I, I, I kid you not. I okay. kid you not. And the next thing I know. He's got the cool in you. It came out about like a year after I saw that video. And <laughs> I, I kid you. Has not. he ever said? Has he ever said that that had something to do with it? 
No, not to my knowledge. Okay. Not okay. to my knowledge. I, I wish that I could find that video. I kid you not. It was him and another guy. And I can't even remember what the other guy, who the other guy was. But it might have been L.A. Reed. But I'm telling well, you, he yeah. had a box of Boston baked beans. I kid you not. Mm -hmm. And you might want to look that one up on YouTube. Uh, Babyface Boston baked beans. Oh, you that's where you saw it on YouTube? No, I saw it on TV. Oh, okay. And this was... This, oh, okay. this was I don't know, sometime in like maybe the uh, early 90s, maybe, or maybe late 80s or something. I, but I'm t I kid you not. I kid you not. He had a, a box of Boston baked beans, I swear. Okay. I mean, I, if, if there is video of that, I would love to definitely love to see that. But, um, but is yeah, Drea said that she's picking Babyface because he could sit down and just go through his catalog, whether he wrote the song for himself or for another artist, he can still sit down. Go through it, perform it, sing it, and play it. You know, I I don't think I want to hear Teddy Riley sitting down singing his catalog. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he can carry a tone, but you know, that <laughs> but he ain't no singer singer. So yeah, so I guess I probably would have the same answer too and say bye, Teddy. Even though the one song that Teddy did that I would really miss would be before I let you go. <laughs> that I, I one miss, I would miss most of his ballads. He was excellent at writing ballads. He was just yeah. as good as Babyface. And Babyface is known for his ballads. I feel Teddy Teddy Riley writes them just as well as he does. But he probably can't sit down and sing them. Because, I mean, didn't he write all the guy's ballads? Te I'm yeah, Teddy, yeah. Pretty much anything guy in Blackstreet you know is Teddy. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. Teddy... Yeah, I, I probably the only thing that... Uh, somebody wrote with Teddy was uh, Dr. Dre probably wrote his own verse on No Diggity. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that's probably like the only time somebody else probably wrote on Teddy stuff. But I, I don't know that for sure. But I, I would think Teddy did that. I would think he did that. Let's Chill was like probably I love that up song. there with some of my favorite ballads. Yeah. Then I Like was not a ballad. It was like what, mid-tempo groove. But that song came across real sensual and like mm -hmm. i mean he's an excellent producer and songwriter so you know okay. that part now you put let's chill up against never um what's his song never keeping secrets and i'll never keep a secret girl no, no, no. i want to get enough oh yeah man okay, so if you put um, songs up against each other i'm gonna take less chill <laughs> against never keeping secrets yes I'm taking. Oh no 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 no! I don't know no, about no. that one. I don't know no, about that. No no no, Dre. Something something wrong right there. You, you got you got the wrong. Yeah, I gotta give you an X on that one. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and about I that. love Let's Chill. I love Let's Chill, but that um, how many ballads during that era better than Let's Chill? Say that again. I mean, Let's Chill is a good song. Better than Let's Chill. Period. Let's Chill is a great song, but I don't hold that as the top of that era. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's a good song. I've sung it. I won Boys and Men tickets to it one time on 92Q because they would, they remember they used to have karaoke. It was like karaoke, but they called it karaoke. But anyway, um, they, you, you had to, if, if you was the right caller, you had to, they gave you three different songs that you could sing on the air. And one of the songs was Let's Chill, and that's the one that I winded up doing, and I won some Boys and Men tickets off that joint. So and and now and I was singing Let's Chill. How ironic. I, was, <laughs> I was singing Let's Chill. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, but um that was the, that was the late 90s though. Oh, that was man. the late 90s. But um Let's Chill, like I said, it's a good song, but better than never keeping secrets. It's better. Uh, nah. Uh, nah. Uh, uh, Sorry, I don't think so. Sorry. Never meant to uh, and let me tell you why it's better. Because never keeping secrets is about cheating. And if uh, I choose between a song that I want to listen to that makes me be in a romantic mood, I would rather hear less chill. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Never keeping secrets. I can't come. I can't it's come so behind that. So much. Too many lyrics, too many words in the lyrics. Ah, uh, I, I like my ballads nice and simple. Right. Sometimes less is more. Let's chill. <laughs> Let's just settle down. Whatever I want to do, 
I'll be there for you. Oh, <laughs> Simple. Right. You don't have to you, you don't know? have to load a track with words to make a song meaningful. <sighs> yep. I'm sitting What's here trying up? to think of a good comeback. It's just not coming to me like right this now. Song, you got those long speeches, <laughs> lying oh, and everything. Oh, hey, mama. <laughs> I, I didn't know she was your auntie. <laughs> I always go to that 7-Eleven. But dig this. I'm forever your slurpee, baby. What the world are you talking about? It's a me and Mike thing. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. No, I was talking about. <laughs> well, that's a you thing, because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what you talking about? He said that's a you that's thing. A you thing. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my goodness. No, I was like... talking to you. And then I started coughing. Oh, okay. Well, I ain't talking about the coughing part. I ain't talking about the coughing. I'm talking about no, I was about, certain songs about Slurpees. With a lot. No, no, because you was like, you're like, some people like long songs that explain themselves. Yeah, yeah I like, I like just, it's just talking to a woman. Okay. You're talking to the person. All right. Yeah, you got you got you, you have to elaborate a little bit more because you know you Brooklyn cats are three months ahead of everybody else. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. See, there's no need for elaborations. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just glad you cleared that up. I was like, huh? Okay. Oh yeah, all right. Come on now. But yeah. Well, if, if, like, if he, like, like the makings of you. Okay. How many right. nerves did that have? Honey brown sugar, honeysuckle lamb. Well, pure my, piece of happiness. Uh, now what other what what other ballads did uh did, did Teddy Riley have? And don't bring up Black Street. Don't 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 bring up Black Street. I'm talking about. From from a guy standpoint, from from a let's guy chill. Standpoint. Let's chill might be guy's best ballad, maybe. I think it was their it, only it, ballad, wasn't it? Um, huh? they remade the uh, they they remade Charlie Wilson's song with the Gap Band. I know that. Um, they did. I miss you. Well, well that's but that's, that's the total. Oh, he, he's talking about guy. He's like, what other ballads did guy do? Not Black Street, but Guy. Oh, I know they well, remade like Charlie saying, Wilson. It doesn't have to be in an abundance. I mean, listen, just give me one good song, and I'm in love with the song. But like I love Ballad. Days. But like I love Ballad. No, I love Ballad. So for me, I, I need more than just one good slow song. No, I need more than just no, one No, I mean, good I love Ballads too, <laughs> but they don't have to be from that one artist. Yeah, but right now we're talking about two. Now we, what we're comparing to right now, we, we're that's what we're talking about right now. We're so, comparing yeah, to. Okay, Matt, what before I let, let you go, one good ballad for guy. Yeah, what yeah, are some of the other know, ballads that guy, not black uh, street, but guy had? Reno Jack says that guy had smile, and then he said tease me tonight. Okay. Uh, Rocky saying that. Uh, oh no, there was a real, there was a real bad one that I related to because a girl dumped me. On that song, oh. it's on the God First album. Wait a minute, did we forget "Piece of My Love"? You can have a piece. Oh of yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is now. that mid tempo? Is that a ballad? Is that yeah. mid tempo? My love is a get down. I'm about to have sex ballad. That's all it okay, is. Okay, well we know yeah, what yeah, that so. means. Okay, we know. Well, I mean, right. you can have a fast song that still means the exact same thing. That's why I say right. it's well, a ballad or a mid tempo. Or a mid tempo. I mean, you can have a fast song that means. Let's put the piece of my love up against Whip Appeal. Oh, whip a pill any day. Whip, yeah. whip, whip the song. It, yeah, whip a pill will whip that song. <laughs> Peace of my love against whip a pill. Oh man, no, come on, it, man. It doesn't. It doesn't whip. Yeah, yeah, yes, it whips it, baby. It whips it. <laughs> oh, that was just saying goodbye. <laughs> what you say? Saying goodbye. That was my. That was the. That was the guy song. The girl dumped me off. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, there's nothing worse than that. Oh, God. <laughs> I was all the way in Japan, so I ain't bother me none. <laughs> nothing is worse than getting dumped to a song. That's so condescending. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's no turn song. the music <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, turn the <laughs> Yeah, turn the music off, then dump me. You know what I'm saying? Turn the music off, then dump me. Don't dump me while the music. Turn is the music off. Why <laughs> right. Why do you know? <laughs> right, because you're gonna mess up the song for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I guess she loved it. I don't know. Oh no, I got dumped to Spando Ballet. I know this love is true. So every time I hear that song, I'm like, oh god. 
And she was like, here, come sit down. Had it queued up and everything. And I was like, okay. Uh, Spando Ballet song, True, was about them. That That's a song about being in love with somebody. How are you going to break up off of that song? Don't ask me. Her name is Stephanie Jackson. Go find her. Oh, and my ask goodness. Her. Stop putting out people's Brick, names. Are you <laughs> all right over there? <laughs> I don't know, man. Brick, Don't oh, oh, you, uh, you do. Uh, hey. You all right? Brick. Uh, <laughs> what I do? Break when I said a name? With a song, it's sadistic. It is sociopathic to do mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah, she, that's her. You got her. You got her. <laughs> She's pretty sociopath. Well, be happy that she dumped you there. Obviously, it was for the best. So I mean, the worst I ever did was by text. Oh, you dumped somebody by text? Oh, my God. But goodness. I ended up, you know, well, no. It's, I, look, I text didn't Text is play recent, too. What'd, uh, you say, what'd you say, Dre? I didn't play them a song. That's all that matters. Okay, well, good. Okay, good. <laughs> at, least, at least she didn't ruin a song for somebody for the rest of their exactly. life. I'll give you that. I would rather be dumped by text. But, 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 but you ruined somebody. We can keep it moving. Okay, but you ruined somebody from wanting to receive text now for the rest of their life. Well, but at least it wasn't to us. No, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just making up stuff now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, whip a pill will definitely whip peace of my love. No, it and is. peace of my love is oh, a yeah. nice song, but um, I don't know all the words to peace of my love. But I know pretty I much all the words to whip a pill, though. Baby, you can have all of me, but I'm not totally free. I can't tell you everything that's going on. Ooh. Hold on, Bricky, messing it up, it's man. Past, it cannot be explained. <laughs> Peace of my love is dope. Well, we just gonna have to agree to disagree. But don't don't put okay. I, I look. I let Teddy Riley go. That was hard enough. Right. That's true. That's true. Don't make me let go of some of his best songs. <laughs> Ain't no way in the world you're going to tell me. And I love Whip Appeal. Ain't no way in the world. I don't want to make love to Whip Appeal. That song gets on my nerves. That's a song I just want to listen to. I don't want to get with nobody while I'm listening to Whip Appeal. <laughs> it's so obvious. Like, Drea is difficult. I like Drea. I love Drea. What are you talking about, man? I mean, hey, I'm just saying. She's just difficult. That's all I said. I still love her. <laughs> I love her to death, but she's just difficult. I'm sorry, I'm a girl. I can't help it. <laughs> you from the East Coast? Yeah, I'm from Maryland. Yeah, she's See, from here. Stuff but... different. Yeah. See, you got that LA stuff going on with your whip a pill and a deal, and we got the East Coast stuff. Is just to the point. Let's chill. You got a piece of my love? Come on, brick. All that give you the stars, the moon, the sun, the child around you. Oh, that's oh, see, oh don't, don't be making fun of my after seven. Don't you Wait don't you dare make fun of after seven, ready Man, or not. Don't make fun of after seven. <laughs> don't 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 you dare try to make fun of my after seven, ready or not, because that is that is one of the best joints baby face ever. Yeah, written. Ready or not is dope. Don't do that. Now. <laughs> I'll yeah. give you the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars, and the oh, come on, man. Yeah, man. And she's still not satisfied and, and anything and more. <laughs> and more. I give you everything, and I still gotta give you more. That's that LA stuff right there. You Wait, know what, Brick Man? As soon as I get home by baby face now. You talk about soon as I get home. Now I'm gonna talk about okay. I might swap out piece of my love for that. Soon as I, I like home, that one. Now you talking about because because he's gonna pay your rent. It's because he's gonna pay your rent, isn't it? It's no, I like that you, one. You, 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 you like that line? I'll buy work. your clothes. I'll buy your. Clothes. I'll cook your dinner too. <laughs> soon as I, I'll pay your rent. As soon as I get home from work, like, yeah, Look, pay my rent. <laughs> it's all the psychology. If a man comes up to a woman and says, "I will do all of that stuff for you," he won't have to do it. She won't even need him to do it. It's just the fact that he says it. He gets inside of her head. Hold up, Dre. Let me write that down because I might need to. I might need to use yes, that. Yes, you do Hold need up. that. Take notes. What's the lyrics to the song? Hold up. Wait a minute. I give good love. Okay, let me write that down. I'll buy your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll cook your dinner too. Soon as I'll pay your rent. And what did yeah. he say after that? Something. Your faithful lover. That yeah, is your faithful. As soon home. as I get home. Soon as I like, get home. You want to win some games? Cause that. after doing all that, I ain't got no energy to go meet nobody else. <laughs> <laughs> so Dre said, ladies and gentlemen, well, 
a gentleman out there, if you want to know the secret, hours at, the rock, at the gig, come on now. If you want to know the secret to a woman's heart, you got to gentlemen memorize the lyrics to uh, that baby face song. And, and Dre said that you would get it every time. <laughs> you get it. Just, just memorize the lyrics. I'm, I'm memorizing them right now. <laughs> I have an appreciation for baby baby faces writing style. I mean, uh -huh. it's wordy, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't discredit him with that. I don't think that's a criticism. That's the way he is. I'm okay with that. I actually like his writing style. I just am not going to throw away Let's Chill or You Can Have a Piece of My Love for anything that he wrote. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Dre, it's like you were starting to come around and then you went back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, I mean, I think Babyface is, is, is clever with his lyrics than um, Teddy. Absolutely. I, I, that's yeah, very definitely. Teddy is very simple. In his message. Oh, that's why yeah. um, Brick likes it because it's simple. No, it's funny. Well, I mean, simple is good. But I know, I know that. I know that. Keep poetic. it simple. Keep it. Yeah. I baby, know. baby face is a poet, and I respect that too. You can't not respect that. I mean, he's a mega star because of it. Exactly. Baby and baby face. End of the road. The end. I love that, Rocky. Thank you. I love that. Can't argue with that. <laughs> that's not the only reason why you picking baby face over there, is it, Jazz? Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, brother. Girl. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I, don't, I never knew. I never learned the words to what Mike was saying during that part when he was talking. To you him. don't know the words? Not to the talking part. I don't know why I've never learned it. I know the words to the rest of the song, but I know he just says all those times you went out and cheated on with that other fella. I knew about it. I just didn't care. <laughs> you just don't know how much I love you. I mean, that is some wimpy lyrics right there. But Babyface wrote them, so it's, it's all good. But <laughs> Oh, somebody brought up Tease Me Tonight. I like that song. Mm -hmm. That's, like oh, I, yeah. that's a good song. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Teddy's cool. I mean, he's cool, but he he ain't beating no baby face when it comes to the ballot. I mean, so. Tease Me doesn't beat End of the Road. I mean, that's you know, but you know. But Whip Appeal does beat Taste of My Love. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to go back there for and a second. As I said, first of all, <laughs> End of the Road is not a baby face song. Oh, it's not? It's I him, it's him, L.A. Reed, uh, I think K.O. and Daryl Simmons all, right. all wrote that song together. Okay, y'all making me feel way older than I actually am, but the end of the road is from the song from the movie from Cooley High, When Coaches Died. I didn't know. That is, okay, that listen, was, that, you are thinking so of, it's so hard goodbye. to say goodbye to yesterday, Brick. Brick. Hey, Brick, hey, hey, Brick, you got your songs uh, mixed up. That's. Boys, the men. I definitely do. Yeah, Charlie got to raise eyebrows on me, like, bro, dude, you my man, but now you, you making me question you. Yeah, you, you, you yeah, kind of brick, brick, over brick, there. brick, brick, you side really side. went left field. Take my medicine. Yeah, yeah, you need to take my medicine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, take some medicine because you just confused It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday with End of the Road. With End of the Road, yeah. <laughs> I could have swore. So. <laughs> Two totally different songs. Now, yes, the boys, <laughs> the men make a version of It's So Hard. Of course they did. I could probably everybody remember that, but we're talking about End of the Road, man, okay? <laughs> All right, then I'll give you that. That's a good okay. song. End of the Road, right. masterpiece. You went on that one, and and, and and it's and it's simple to play. It's, it's this very simple. I, oh, I mean, but baby face, a lot of baby face songs are simple. That's the reason why they're good. He oh, doesn't have songs yeah. that have a whole bunch of flashy chords in it usually, but but sometimes Teddy does have some strange chords up in his. <clears throat> but um, let me see. What's it? Okay, before I let you go against, I'll make love to you. Before I let you go. Give me before I let you go. Yeah. Black Street. Black Street. Black Street yeah. 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 Black Again, Street. I'll make love to you. Yeah. Who, Black Street. Who, 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 yeah. Who wins is what I'm saying. What song wins? Black Street. Black Street wins that. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm just going to pull myself Black out Street. now, man. I'm about to pull myself out the mix, man. Come on, y'all. And I love before I let you go, but y'all saying that's better than I'll make love to you? 
Yeah. Close yeah. your eyes. Now, Dre, you just got finished talking about songs that make you want to. I'll make love to you. It's one of those songs. Yeah, but it's, it sounds like begging and whining. And exactly. Song, Black Street song sounds more like let me get a kiss and then it leads to something else. It's subtle. Exactly. <sighs> Now from God, well, so finicky people. Now, man. now, 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 now wait a second. Now you got a woman <laughs> talking about her preference. Okay, a woman does not want somebody to beg her. A woman wants to get smoothed over. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So uh, you can take them little ham hocks and uh, try another dish. What? Huh? I'm talking about uh, that uh, that boys to men. I'll make love to you. That's not beating. Um, what's the name? Uh, the, before I let so, you go, so you're saying that I'll make love to you. They're begging in that song. Pretty close, much. Yeah. Listen, listen, close your eyes, make a wish, and blow out the candlelight. For tonight is just your night. We're going to celebrate all through the night. That's begging. Pour listen, the wine, what light heard, the fire. What a woman Girl, told me. Your wish is my command. I submit. To your demands, I mean that's not even begging, but I will do anything, girl. You need only X. I'll make love to you, like you want me to. That's not begging. That's telling her what you're going to do. What what that is is talking your way. You're talking your way out of it. Right, you're over. It. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, I know. Then why did that song be talking um, your way out of it? Then why did that song stay number one for like 13 or 14? Because it's a well-written song. It is very artistic. It's, you know, it's, it's a cute song, but we're not going home tonight. It's romantic. It's 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 not, I don't want to say it's not realistic, but I just. Girl, I, relax. Let, we'll go slow. I ain't got nowhere to go. Come on, y'all. <sighs> Okay, uh, baby, tonight I, I is your night, like and I will do you right. Back Street song better too. Say that again, Dre. I like the R and B feel. It's sexier. The R and B feel of the um Black Street song is very okay. sexy. Like the chords. Um, I make love yeah. song is very romantic, and and it has its place. But I like the Black Street feel better. It sounds like you should have got rid of Babyface, uh, Dre. <laughs> You sure you you sure you got rid of the right person? <laughs> you going ballads against ballads against ballads. That's Teddy Riley has some good ballads. But he can't compare to Teddy. I mean to um to but Kenny he, Kenny's ballads. <laughs> well, see, I think he does, but that's what I was saying about him. He has range, he has artistic range. But he can't sing his ballads. Like Babyface can sit down and sing you his ballads, and that is right. very impressive to me. That's why I would keep Babyface. I'm okay. not talking out his music at all. I love "I'll Make Love to You." It's a great song, but it's not better than "Before I Let You Go Away." Can I get a kiss tonight? Even the melody of that song. No, oh, sing it, Mama. Dope. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, have mercy. I like this. What you do with this uh, Michael Jackson song I'm working on over here? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'm not saying song. that before I let you go. <clears throat> I love that song. I love it. I've I've listened to it probably uh, five hundred times. Teddy, in my life. Didn't Teddy Riley use a voice box a lot? He did. Well, what? yeah, he did. When, 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 right. Whenever yeah, he was now, now he's fired. Well, I can't. I, I, I can't fire him now, cause Stevie. Well, no, Stevie but he's not a singer. Singer. Better than Stevie. No, he's not a singer. Yeah, you Teddy Riley is not a singer. Singer. He can just, you know, curry. I guess he probably did all the birds on harmonies whenever they was on stage or whatever. I'm, I'm just assuming he probably could, you know, get those low notes. Maybe something. I don't know, but you know, I mean, the the best you'll ever hear Teddy sing is "No Diggity." Sure to get down, good luck. That's like the best you'll hear him. As a vocalist, that that's 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 him at his best as a vocalist. Mm -hmm. So yeah, keep that you know keep that in mind. That that's him at his uh, chip. Hold on, the Chippity Chopsky, the Dopsky. I just realized you changed your name, Mike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> I put that up because I wanted to see how long you could you could make the name. Oh okay, <laughs> Chippity Chopsky, the Dopsky. But um, 
Well, let's well compare two up tempo songs then. Right. By them, by them. Okay, so 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 what's Teddy's um what my prerogative? I mean, what what, what what's oh, a good up tempo uh Teddy song? Teddy songs. You keep my prerogative. Yo, I wanna. Um. <clears throat> what's the other one from Guy? I don't know. I was asking y'all. <laughs> no, I gave you. I gave you the show. I gave you um um cute sweats. I want her. Here we go. Boom 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 boom. You throw that in the club. Everybody's still dancing. Oh, of course. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that people not gonna dance today. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that. I want And then what's the guy song that I like? That was the first one that came out. Uh. It's no crime if I'm guilty of love. Let me do my time. Oh, why? It's no crime. Everybody uh, needs love. And baby, so uh, come on now. That, that's oh, I, I do mean, what, what, the time? what do Teddy got that's better than that? Come on, man. Do you that's, remember the time? Baby face. Do you remember the time? Do you remember the time uh, ain't gonna beat um it's no crime by babyface? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I mean the way the way babyface went, so do I. I, I that was <laughs> that was crazy, man. Come on now. <laughs> you gonna say do you remember? <laughs> the time? Remember the time? Remember the time is a good song. Remember the time, the song. Remember the time. Michael Jackson. Remember Michael Jackson. The time. Okay. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Remember, and I'm like, come on, man. That's not beating no. Uh, <laughs> my baby face song that I just sung that I can't think of the title of it. It's oh, no crime. Yeah. It's no crime. That was a like, groovy. Remember uh, that time? No. That's one of Michael Jackson's best like R and B songs. Nah, nah, one of Michael Jackson's best is this one that I'm working on right here. Hey, y'all, tell me how this sound. Wait a minute. I mean, obviously, it's a, I mean, we all know, you know. <laughs> Unless your name is Mayoli. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, remember, I think he went back and listened to the song, though. <laughs> now, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to uh, get this down pat, man. It, really? Trying to really. get what pat? Uh, really, I'm to, no, I'm trying to work on my producer skills. I got the baseline. I'm saying I'm just trying to work on my producing game. That's all. And trying can't to learn how to work it. this, this logic. Can't how do you get that baseline? Huh? How do you use that baseline? Use a the wheel? No. Um, I use the keyboard for it. I don't have the baseline turned up as much as it should no. be. I mean, let me, I'll, I'll turn no, it up a little bit. To it. No, my thing was always fascinating me was the end part. When you go from the seventh to the Wait ninth, and back. Wait oh yeah, one twelve DZ. Yes, one twelve DZ. Thank you, man. In the heat of the moment, baby, I lost my head, lost my mind, didn't know what to do. That's baby face right there. What's touching? What did? What does baby um guy? I would try to say Teddy Riley got. That's going to touch that. Oh song. yeah, that that, now, that that is a jam. The heat that is that's after man. That song was hot, man. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now y'all agree that um babyface is better. Thank you. Thank you, Brick. I appreciate. It. I, I proved my point. The the live stream is now over. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I saw all I wanted to do was just prove my point. <laughs> I don't know. I just think Teddy Riley did some good songs. It's hard to. It's hard for me to put one over the other. I loved that song by After Seven. Yeah, that's I mean, and that's babyface. Yeah, I want no diggity too. Oh man, and one night, yeah, one night of the chin, one night, one night, girl, two nights of trust, whatever the words are, three nights of hugging. That makes makes one night of love. Oh, babyface Roni, the truth about a Rona. I mean, Roni, she's a sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah man. Babyface well, got it, yo. Babyface got it. Now, I don't care what y'all say. Brony is probably, yeah, that's one of the top ballads. 
Right. I see. That's where he really shines. That, that whoever who posted that. Baby for, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Roni was Rocky. Yeah. Oops, sorry, it was. Yeah, Rocky. Right, right. That, that is a pretty simple song. It gets to the point. That's true. It is much more simple. Cause you believe in love and all that it can do for you. Mm-hmm. Now Kim C is up here trying to throw up some Teddy Riley stuff. Now, hey Kim C, don't be coming up in here trying to mess up me. You know, I'm trying to make sure that Babyface is the winner, and you coming up in here throwing up some good Teddy Riley stuff. Take that good Teddy Riley music out of here. I'm just messing with you, Kim. By the way, <laughs> 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 and of course, Babyface is my 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 right. Babyface, my yeah. my my. I'm, Teddy don't got nothing that's going to touch that. Come on, yeah, now. not, not, not <laughs> Teddy can't touch my my my. But so so who who has it? Who's the winner when it comes to the best ballads? Then we're not even saying one gotta go. We can just say who's the winner? Who has the best ballad? Uh, and we talking about numbers wise, like if you, you who written more I would give that to ballads that, that are great. You had to get that to baby face. I'll give that to Kenny. Who's written more ballads that are great? Definitely yes. baby face. Who has a wider range of repertoire? That's going to be Teddy Riley. Baby face. Oh, thank you, Dre. I'm glad you said baby face. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you said baby face for both, for both your answers. I, I appreciate that. Thank you. Genre of music. That's going to be Teddy Riley. Uh, that's why no baby face did Drew no Hills. We're not making hip-hop love no more. Hip hop classic. Boom. What? I just did R&B a tutorial classic. for this song too. I just did a tutorial last week for this song. Always a by Pebbles. Classic. That's Babyface. That was yeah. Babyface. I just <laughs> uploaded that like a week ago. Yeah. yeah I got to um, go back over that whip right appeal. There, uh, yeah, I got to go back over that whip appeal joint. Yeah, I have a tutorial for whip appeal. It's, yeah, old, no, it's, I, it's real old. It's like I know, it was before I, I had got fancy. That's, that's one of the first songs that I did uh, that I learned off of your tutorials was that one. Okay. Yeah. That, I, that, I that, have that, to do it over again. That was back when I didn't know how to do all the fancy stuff <laughs> when I did that tutorial. Yeah. Not gonna cry. That's babyface, right? Yeah, because that's um, yeah. that's uh, Maybe wait until exhale. Babyface has a bigger catalog, but babyface. Can we also... talk? Say what now? Yeah, I'm somebody. Bought, uh, can somebody... we talk? Yeah, can we talk? That that, dude, Come I did, I did not like that song by him, but the one song I do like by Tevin Campbell, and I don't know if Babyface wrote it, was uh, always in my heart. Did did, did Babyface yeah, I, write that one? I think he did, but let's go back to Can We Talk. What are you talking about? Can We Talk is I just like I never care for that song. I never that really song that. is that that's like that's that's it's like yo man. Can we talk? Oh my good. As a matter of fact. I think it's my number two or number three most viewed tutorial on my channel. Is can we talk? I the number one, the number one most viewed video is a song for you by Donny Hathaway. Mm-hmm. That's my number one. It's mm-hmm. oh, it's about sixty thousand, but like either number two or number three is can we talk? Out of all the thousand videos I've done, can we talk is like my number three most viewed. I've never video. cared for Simple that song. And to the point, <laughs> I've never cared for yeah. that song. Last night I... I mean, Babyface has more music than Teddy Riley. He has more... Like, you got to understand, a lot of these songs we're naming are from movie soundtracks. Babyface, like, did a bunch of movie soundtracks. hmm <clears throat> So he has more work. But, but one, thing, one thing I just noticed, Wait, I'm going to give him credit for... He picks good songs for good artists. Like, can we talk... He was a child, so he's not gonna give him these long, complex lyrics about romance and stuff like that. Right. Bobby Brown was a dog on a young kid. Gave him a simple, easy song with Tenderoni. Mm-hmm. He he caters his songs, good songs to the artists. Yeah, he knows how to do that. He's very good at that. Exactly. Yeah. You mean the world to me. Braxton, he makes a point. That's, I mean, that's probably some of his crowning achievement with her work. Mm-hmm. Because her work did, I mean, even though she ended up having issues financially, the work she did. Oh, yeah, that's on her, though. <laughs> in her business, in her business. Her record sales were through the roof. Yeah. Too bad Too bad her bank account wasn't through the roof. But yeah. <laughs> her record sales were, that's for sure. Oh, wow, mm-hmm. somebody put in, just got paid. I forgot about that. 
Johnny Kemp just got paid. Oh yeah, on the front now. That, that's that's Teddy. Teddy. That's Teddy. That's right? Teddy. And there's no fast song that Babyface has ever written that's better than that. Um, it, it's no crime can beat. Um, just got paid. Though. No the one way. I was talking about oh, earlier. No way. It's no crime can. Yeah, that that can take. That's yeah, it's no crime it. easily takes that. Yeah, Which one's gonna get played in the club? Let me see. Just got Who well. Ray, okay, maybe in the club. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll admit that they'll play that in the club, but that doesn't just because it, it goes in the club doesn't mean it's necessarily better. Just because it's in the club, everybody gonna be dancing. I understand. Okay, in the club, just because it's a club song doesn't mean it's necessarily better. It's now which song would do better in the club? I agree. I agree. Just got paid would do better in the club, but is it a better song than "It's No Crime"? Nope. <laughs> but I'll give you that it will do better in the club. I'll give you that. But um, oh, now that we found love, that's um Teddy. Now that we found love, what are we gonna do? Wow! You see, so I got we got the number one hip hop song, number one R&B song, number one pop song, number one dance song. Come on, Babyface at one point had like a song. In the top ten for like a year and a half straight, or so it was something crazy like that. Yeah. That's something like, that like he Trey wrote. Said, it was something that he wrote was genres. in the top ten for like a year and a half straight. <laughs> he spreads over all genres. <clears throat> he spreads over all genres. That was something that caught my attention. Yep. Mm. So, about number one in all these different genres. Now, Kim C said that. Teddy wrote uh, right here, SWV, uh, and he also. You mean put, the re She means the remix, right? She's and he also put Pharrell on too. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, because there was some Virginia Beach, right? Yeah, yeah, both Virginia Beach, yeah he was yeah. on the study. He mm -hmm. he said he's the one that actually did the whole rum shaker um track. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he put Pharrell on. That. Every yeah, time I go down there to see my daughter, she always takes me driving. If Pharrell used to go to that school, Dad. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jazz and B Flat. He 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 put the ultimate answer up. Thank you, appreciate that. Uh, now that we found love is an old OJ song. I thought it that might, was, uh, it might be. I don't. I, no, I don't know. Was, I thought that was Third World. I'm talking about now. What, now that we found love, we found I think it was. What are we gonna do? Well, yeah. I don't, I'm not yeah, sure. So I thought it was a third world song. Yeah, well, third uh, world. The actual remake. Is that yeah. What yeah, they're saying it's a remake. You know, he took that line from they so. saying the third world song. Yeah. I'm not sure about that one. I, yeah. I think it is a remake. I didn't know. I, I remember hearing it before. I could be wrong, but I think mm. it is a remake. Oh, man. What? Baby face. I'm your baby tonight. Classic. It is. Whatever you want from me, you're yeah. giving me every. This here, just think of that harmony. I'm uh, like, whatever you want from me. Oh yeah, baby face. See, he wins, man. I don't know what you. There's something wrong with y'all. No, I. I mean, <laughs> look. who was who was I? I'm your baby tonight. Who was that? Whitney Houston. Yeah, Whitney Houston, yeah. man. Pretty simple. Brick. And uh, th and that was written by baby face. Yeah. <laughs> Brick. I mean, it's. <laughs> Whatever okay, you want. but if I'm gonna take the riding in the car test, I'm not gonna pull out. The <laughs> if you go with the riding in the car I'm test again, Riley's song. So you're not gonna take what? Okay, well, so so what? Teddy Riley song you gonna listen? I mean, to before you listen to "I'm Your Baby Tonight." As far as the fast songs, all yeah, of them. Yeah. All oh of my them. Goodness. Oh, come on now. Yeah, oh. I mean, it's. An, I'm not saying like it's a hit song. It's a great song. It's an awesome song. <laughs> And then Babyface sets himself apart with writing songs with that particular meter. I don't know, like he's using um, it's in four, but he's using a particular type of syncopation. He does that in a few of his songs. Only I think he's the only songwriter who really does that. But and so it sets it apart. But I'm still gonna like want to listen to Teddy's fast stuff if I'm just driving in my car, as opposed to that. That's just me, though. Have to do to choose Teddy Riley, though. 
<laughs> you know, how much driving you have to do. <laughs> yeah, you must do a lot of driving. <laughs> that, so, like, I spend a lot of time in my car. Oh man, but uh no, nah, I, I I think I mean we're having our own baby face versus Teddy right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um Stevie Wonder Pastime Paradise was a great song redone by Coolio. Stevie Wonder's Pastime Paradise is a great song. Do, 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 living in a pastime paradise. Most of their lives living in a pastime paradise. No, you got the words wrong. It's gangster paradise, man. Sing the no, song right. Nah, you, 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 dude, come on if, now. If you ask me, Coolio butchered that song. <laughs> that song sucked by Coolio. Oh, goodness. I loved it. The song was, I don't know what's wrong with my, man. I mean, yo, the song was, dude, Coolio, Coolio did a good job with that song, man. It probably yeah, was I, like I, his I, only I, big hit, too. Honestly, I'm saying that because I was going to use it, and before I could get mine out, Coolio put it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Steve. I was going to say, that was good, though. You know, that, that was a very good song. Um, Coolio nah. introduced a whole generation of people to Stevie Wonder through that song. Yeah. Think about it. There's a lot of people who would not have really known who Stevie Wonder was unless they had heard the Coolio song. Uh, How can you not know? Well, it's possible. Yeah. Well, well, there's plenty of people. I mean, the the first time I ever heard Ribbon in the Sky was intro's version, not Stevie's version. The first time I remember hearing it was intro's version. And then if you remember the beginning of the video, Stevie Wonder is in the video at the very beginning. They're sitting at the piano with Stevie, and Stevie was like, at first I was saying, who's this singing my song? And then I listened to it and was like, and that's when I realized, hold up, this is a Stevie Wonder song. And then I was yeah. able to go back and uh, hear the original. Yeah. Now, I like the original better, but I love what intro did. I well, love what a intro lot of did. I thought that Luther's creeping. Uh, they didn't know that Stevie Wonder, that, that, that was Stevie's song. I mean, Luther just... <laughs> He See, the, he, here's he the thing with Luther. Luther would take somebody else's song and make it so hot it became his song, yeah, even yeah. though he didn't sing it first. Give you know? me a break. <laughs> Give me a break. He did that with plenty of songs. He did that with a lot of Dion songs. A house is not a home. When yeah. you say that song, nobody thinks of Dion Warwick. Yeah. They think of Luther. Hey, what? Uh, well, see, that's <laughs> like, you didn't grow up. You didn't grow up in Dion Warwick's time. Right, that's exactly. Not, that's and, and, you never even thought of. I mean, the, now that the best Dion song that he redid was uh, the the um, anyone who had a heart, the heart could make a me and know that I love you. Anyone who's ever dreamed could look at me. Okay, anyway, I'm messing it up. Okay, but um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, that's the way that that was. That's just Luther, man. Luther would just take somebody else's song, and I've said this on a um Dude, on a live stream be before. Tried to remake if, the closer if, I get to if you, you let baby. I mean, if you allow Luther Vandross to remake your song, you might as well not sing the song no more man. because it's going to become his version is going to become the definitive version. So if if you have a song that you like, don't let Luther sing it. <laughs> well, Aretha did it to Stevie. I'll give her that because her version was better than his. For what but, song? Uh, Until you come back to me. You know what? I just did that tutorial yeah. last week, but I did not listen to Aretha's version. I only listened to his version. I have to go oh, back. Aretha's version is all that. Her her mm-hmm. version her version is better than Stevie's. Trust me. Okay. But that that uh, you talking about Luther redoing creeping? Uh, no. Uh uh-uh. uh, I think not. <laughs> I think not, because first of all, I mean, uh, Luther played he, he his thing has got that slap bass in it and all of that, and Stevie Wonder had many Ripperton singing background on that on, on his original version. You're out of your mind. No way. Well, I'll have to listen to Aretha's version because uh, I, no, I, I I had to li- yeah I was listening to Stevie's. Version. No, I'm talking about the creeping oh, you, song. Oh, creeping. Never mind. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, you got to listen to Stevie's version of Creeping. He's got Minnie Ripperton singing the background on on that particular song. And then you go to Bird of Beauty where he's got Minnie and Denise Williams singing background oh, on that song. Okay. Okay. And oh, he so, has some classic singers. Okay, no so doubt. No don't doubt. talk to me about no Luther Vandross remaking somebody's song. Now, I mean, because him and Mariah, uh-huh. uh, not, not Mariah Carey, uh, what's the big leg girl? Uh, Beyonce. They, the they big leg to, girl. Yeah, they tried to do uh the closer I get to you, and they 
butchered that song. That song is terrible. No, it's not terrible. That it's not. It's not. Terrible. It's not as good as the original, but it's not terrible. That song is terrible. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's it's, it's mean, just it's just not as good as the original, but it's not terrible. Uh, Jazz and B Flash says Stevie wrote "Until You Come Back to Me" for Aretha. Uh, Stevie wrote that song and put it out, and Aretha remade the song. Right. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, it, it's definitely it Stevie Wonder. Mavis Staples did "House Is Not a Home." Okay. Well, if 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 she did it, none of us remember it. <laughs> uh, yeah. The only one that we know uh, is Lutha, even though Dion did it first. Uh, uh yeah, uh, but no, Dion has some classics because she had Burt Bacharach. Right, Burt Bacharach wrote "A House Is Not a Home" and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, see, I, I got that Luther book where he got all those do what's that you're talking about. I got the sheet music book. Yeah, me. well, if he's got nope, the closer I, I get to you in there, rip the pages out and throw it away. Nope, nope, because the chords are probably still right. I got because Endless Love. With... Oh, I got that, Killing that, Me. I got problem. Killing Me Softly. Oh, Lord. Yep, Endless oh, Love. Oh, God, he remade that too? Hello by Lionel Richie. He did it in the Oh, movie. no, he remade Always that. and Forever. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, yeah. wait a minute. Always and forever was a good remake by him. Yes, yes. Oh, yes I'm that. Yep. Very smooth. Whoa, whoa. Always. And then he just came in. Oh man, come on, man. Nobody's nobody's crazy. doing that song better than Johnny Wilder, man. You gotta yes. be crazy. You're out your mind, man. No way. You're out your mind. See, <sighs> see, y'all come up with this 90s stuff, man. I mean, y'all don't know. What and, you, and, and, and you come up with nobody can like something that you don't only you like, man. Come on, man. Some people Excuse just need something Mr. better, man. Don't, 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 don't. Some don't people, because it. it, it's don't okay it, for people to make it. Don't Some people it, can make it, man. It's don't, like, man, don't I don't know do what you're talking Mr. about, Boy, man. Luther, don't, 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 don't do it, mister. Nobody can do it better than. Uh, uh, the original. Sometimes the rich somebody does it better than the original. I can't even Luther get it out. Did a nice job with creeping, <laughs> but song with Beyonce was not good. Uh, Luther, okay, yeah, it's it's a popular version, but it's not better now, than Stevie's original version. Sorry. Now that's something oh, yeah. that comes up with. Some people can take an um an original cover and make it their own. Luther was one of those guys that can do that. Of course, of course, he did it. He did it with he a lot did of that with the whole Burt Bacharach catalog. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, I think another song that that Beyonce butchered was uh, the Beverly Frankie Beverly and May song. Oh God! Oh well, no, yeah, Beyonce oh, did mess that one up. She butchered that. I oh, I man. just don't like it, Virgil. And they had that thing on the radio. What'd you say, Dre? You said you liked it. I, I like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a Beyonce fan at all. Like, that's one of the few songs of hers that I actually did like. Do I need to kick her out the chat, y'all? I like it. Even Frankie Frankie Beverly did one of these numbers. Oh, yeah, I've I've heard it. It, Yeah, it was a nice song. (laughs) No, which song did she try to do? Before I tried to do, she did it. You don't remember she did it? Oh, yeah, I know he was real mad. She messed up on it. What's the name of the song? Before I let go. She don't say it like 50 times, man. Yeah, she really Frankie Beverly with all the way to let, the me, let me get a, let me get an eyebrow, Chris. Let me get an eyebrow, Mike. I just like the beat. That's all I like. <laughs> that. no, even Frankie I, Beverly I, I, was I like this. That, 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 that's a classic totally song. Frankie and Beverly was like. You just gotta let that go. Frankie that's Beverly the song like, you can't top over. Like, come on, man. Like, like everybody, like let us see tried. She's the closest person that ever came close to um settle for my love. And I've heard a lot of people try. What the Patrice Russian cr- joint? Yeah. Yeah. It oh, are you talking about the one she did with, uh, with, with, with music? The one with music made me cry. I was like, oh, God, no. The Patrice Russian version of that is all that, man. That that original oh, version yeah. is the bomb. No, Lettucey did it over. Uh huh. Okay. And that one was decent. Really? But when I heard um when I heard music Soul Childs, I was like, oh, no. You know, I would love to. I would love to learn how to play that, man. That's a pretty nice song, man. Yeah, it is a nice song, isn't it, Rich? Well, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. If we're going to talk about uh, who remade a song and did it best, we might as well go to Troop in the Jackson Five. 
Y'all know what song I'm getting ready to call out, right? Yeah, honestly, I don't care I what anybody said. I love the way Michael Jackson and the Jacksons did. I never heard the Jacksons until all, after he died. Now, all, all I do is think of you. I mean, I've listened to the Jackson. I didn't even realize back in, when the song came out that it was a Jackson song. So maybe that's part of my bias, I'll admit. But when I, you know, the way Troop did, all I do is think of you. And then when I heard the Jackson 5, I'm like, that's nice, but Troop. Yeah, Troop's version, yeah, Troop version, Troop. Troop version is better. Troop's version is better. You got you to give them that. They did. They did a great job. I like both of them, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I like listening to the original. But in, I'm going to listen to the original now because I never heard the original until after Michael died. Oh, uh, okay. I yeah. mean, Michael probably was passed away when I heard the original. I mean, it was. Not, it's only just... I have to say, within the last ten years, I found out that it was a yeah. Jackson Five song. I didn't yeah. know. <laughs> I didn't no. know. Yeah. But another song that Troop did better than the original, and it's funny because it goes back to who we were talking about at first. Baby I Face. Think, um, yeah, Sweet November. But you know, Babyface recorded Sweet November as when he was with the Deal. But yeah. when Troop did it, and Babyface did produce it, he did produce the Troop's version. Troop killed the troop was is an under. I'm, I was gonna say that I need them to have an unsung, but I forgot they actually do have an unsung. That's mm-hmm. right. <laughs> I forgot, but yeah, man, those boys, man. Yeah, I mean, well, I that, 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 that's the group that could remake a song and make it their own. I, I tell it. you, who has an unsung, and I couldn't believe it. They was actually singing "Skin Tight" in church. Oh no, "Love Roller Coaster." That's what they sang. They sang that in church. Who you talking about? The Ohio players. They actually. Oh. Some of the original band members, <laughs> you know, now they're playing in church and they did love roller coaster. <laughs> I'm trying to do that mic look. <laughs> what? There you go. Only Mike can do the look. I can't do it. Mike can do the look. <laughs> uh, yo. So if, uh, okay, uh, so let's let's compare some groups now. Let's let's, let's and we're not doing boys and men and Jodeci. We did all. Thank them, God. All. Okay, let's start with Boys and Men and Jodeci just to make Mike happy. Uh, no, nah, but uh, <laughs> if we're going to talk about some groups, all right, well, what, what group? Because I just saw it in the chat. That's This is the only reason why I brought it up because somebody was talking about it in the chat. Troop or Silk? Who Who's winning vocally? Silk is better. Troop is mm-hmm. great, but uh-huh. Silk is better. Uh, let me just ask a question real quick. Are we going to keep this debate here in the 90s or are you going to like... Uh, like do some other decades. Thank besides, you. Besides the nineties, I, like I, I, I thought we was kind of jumping around a little. The I thought we did and, jump around, didn't we? Just jump around when we went to Dion Warwick. We went to Dion Warwick against um, Luther's remakes. That's the 60s, 70s, and 80s time period right there, right? But I'm asking you now. You, you, you're coming up with this comparing groups. Now I'm saying, are you going to keep it in the nineties, or are you going to take it? In Spanish, you're saying it. keep it in the 90s, but I just came from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. <laughs> I literally just came world. from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. You're starting a new conversation, and you're I mean, comparing groups. Now. Out. Are there what I'm asking you world? is if you're going to be comparing groups, are you keeping it in the 90s, or are you going to be spanning over different decades other than the 90s? Uh, right now, I just started to just go with the groups now. I, I don't know where I'm going with it. Okay. <laughs> Right. I just asked a simple question. Uh, silk. Troop against Silk. Okay. Silk. <laughs> I'll sing I, I, I don't know, but okay. I'm not familiar with either one of them that deep, so. Okay. And neither well, am I, but I'm going to go ahead and pick Silk. I mean, <laughs> vote, vote, vote. I mean, Silk does have stronger singers than Troop, though. But Troop will beat Silk when it comes to dance steps, though. I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, <laughs> they not like no dance group. They really Troop, <laughs> Troop used to have routines, but I think there was a dance group before they was even a singing group. Uh, song wise, I say Troop vocally. Oh, okay. So Kim C says Troop wins if you talk comparing the songs. Just the just who had better songs. Okay, mm-hmm. let's do the rappers and trap music. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, not, that's what that. Rocky said. Rocky you said, "Let's do the rappers, yeah, and do the rappers but you can keep the trap music, the crap music." Uh, I don't have any knowledge on the trap. Yeah, me yeah. neither. I, I don't even really know what it is. Yeah, I really don't even know what it is. I mean, I know it's a sound, but it's trash is what it is. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm. Well, yeah. Um, Rocky was saying well, with the baby and the baby. Ohio players and Earth, Wind, and Fire. Hold on. Go ahead, Brandy. 
I said what um Rocky was saying in the chat, little baby versus the baby. It's all they the baby. The baby is the bomb diggity. Okay. How do you even know who they are? I don't even bro. How do you even know who they are? The baby and little baby or whatever you say. No, she knows that. If you ask me, they both just a bunch of babies. No, I'm just they, I mean, no one is going to be on. But yeah, I maybe has more for on little baby for you. Whatever. I do like the baby. He's more lyrical. Yeah. I, I can listen to him instead of all these other people. Yeah, he sees he's better. And as far as what you were saying about troop and silk, silk all day. Oh yeah. yeah. Vocally. See, this is a woman who can discuss all ty- types of things. Let her talk. She okay. Can track and she can go back to nineties R and B. Let the girl talk that's now. What, that's what I'm talking about. She she don't want to be sitting over there all quiet all the time. She can jump in. <laughs> talking, so I just sit back and relax. <laughs> you over but there now, I don't know anything about the the baby little baby. I like. I honestly don't know one of their songs, so I definitely don't have any opinion about them. So simply because I just don't know them. Uh, I'm like jazz and B flat. What he said right here. He said my my knowledge in rap is limited. Mine's is limited too to maybe the '80s and some of the '90s. Okay, well, that's not. I mean, yeah. whatever. Next yeah. subject. <laughs> Next subject, please. Ohio players <laughs> against who? Earth, Wind and Fire. Ooh, yeah, Earth, Wind and Fire. Earth, Wind and Fire. I mean, you know, yeah, Earth, Wind and Fire, definitely. Okay, that's tough, but you had to go with Earth, Wind, and Fire, man. You had nope. to go with Earth, Wind, and Fire. I mean, Earth, Wind, and Fire has a a, a, a bigger catalog. Mm-hmm. Number one, so right there, you know. But uh, that's very that, that's very hard. That's very hard. That's why I'm going with Ohio players. What about Earth, Wind, and Fire versus Maze? Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> that was harder for me. No, the hard wow. one is Earth, Wind, and Fire versus the Isley Brothers. I wouldn't pit them two groups together. That, yeah, that would be hard. I would put the Isley. No, brothers the Isley Brothers go back to the fifties. They still doing it. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they well, they they had the, uh, those two groups in the seventies. Those were the biggest ones. You wasn't messing with them, and there was there were some great groups in the seventies, man. But uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire has got to stand out above all of them. Nah. My 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 suggestion between Troop and Silk would be Silk, and between Earth, Wind, and Fire and Ohio players would be Earth, Wind, and Fire. Yeah. Nope. Ohio players. <laughs> okay. Why the Ohio players? <laughs> He's a dope man. Now I tell you one thing: Ohio players had a better drummer. <laughs> Definitely, Ohio players had a better drummer. Dude was off the hook. He was the same one that was sitting up there in church playing roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> the same one. What was his name? Diamond. Dude was bad though, man. Dude, dude was all that. The thing about Earth, Wind, and Fire that I've learned—I mean, Ohio players—that I learned was. Most of their albums, everything was just jam sessions. That's why if you look on their um, the album covers, all the songs are just named one title words. It's a, it's a jam. Boom. Okay, we're going to call this ecstasy. All right, jam, we're going to call this fire. One, two, three, let's go. And they just jam. They made a, a career of just getting together and jamming. <clears throat> uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire did that too, though. Nah, I think they were more constructed jazz musician nah. big band yeah, before, before they went before they went uh before they crossed over. Nah, no, both them and Cool and the Gang uh, before they crossed over. Uh uh-uh. uh, nah, they, they get down with the best of them. I do have one of their first national appearances on TV, and it was yeah. fun. Who's that? Earth Wind and Earth, Fire. Wind, Fire. Absolutely, and the first time that they came out, they actually got booed. Can you believe that? No, why would they? Well, they did because nobody understood where they were coming from. I mean, this was when it's probably the same uh thing that Brick is talking about. 
Well, I saw when they, yep, and they were jumping around, they were jumping up and down, and people were like, Who are these people? Might have been. Yeah, Let me see if I can find the video footage. I'm gonna look at it. It's and if it's the one I think you're talking about, you have Verdine jumping up and down, and he's got a tank top on, right? Yeah, yeah, no, Verdine took his shirt off. That's he right, yeah, he did. On. That's right. No, you're right. But he was jumping up and down and whatnot. And then in, the middle of the, in the middle of that intro, they all stopped and were playing the instruments, like mm. airplane. There was no songs coming out. Everybody was just doing everything airplane. They did that right. for like two bars. 112DZ says, Sly and the Family Stone versus Rolls Royce. You had to get at the Sly and the Family Stone. Yeah, I'll go with Sly Stone. Yeah. You had to get at the Sly and the Family Stone. But what about Car Wash? What about car wash? <laughs> the Rolls Royce through I'm going down. Was they the group that did I'm going down? Yeah. The one that okay. Yeah, yeah. they did that too. Yeah. I'm go. Oh man. But I'm still gonna go with Slash Stone. <laughs> man, you, you okay. You put yeah, I'm going down. Norman Whitfield. Yeah. Motown Norman stuff. Whitfield, yeah. Uh, now that Norman Whitfield stuff is dope, but nah, man. You're talking about band for band, sliding the family stone and yeah, crush them. Their band had a Sly lot and of family work. stone and crush them. Tops than Rolls Royce. Sign the Family Stone was just a uh, dude, man. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's really hard to um compare a lot of groups in this country with those from the Bay. It really is, because a lot of those yeah. bands in the Bay were just beyond tight. Car Wash was a great song, but now Rose Royce had a lot. Uh, Rose Royce had a, a pretty good library band, but. Slide in the Family Stone had a better library. I mean, that's hands down. Going to star. That's know? Rose Royce, right? That's yeah. That, uh, oh, uh, you yeah. Have a tutorial for me, it's, for it's, that it's too. definitely. Yeah, I do have a tutorial. Yeah, for me, it's going to be Rose Royce, no doubt. For me, I guess it's because I like their now, songs. Now, now, let me ask I, I like you this. their songs better. Now, I let like me ask songs. you this: Before you pick them, how much do you know about Slide in the Family Stone? Though not much. So why would I pick them? That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> so why? So why yeah. would I pick them? <laughs> why would I? If if I'm I just named three Rolls Royce songs that I love, and I can't name one Sly song. So of course, okay. I'm, it's like for uh, me, Rolls. Yeah, like Sly and the Family Stone. You got uh, <laughs> everyday people. Now, and now, guess what? Oh, okay. Now, some of your '90s stuff they use a lot of Sly Stone right. uh, stuff. They, they sampled they a lot of it. A lot. People especially primarily. In fact, uh, Teddy Riley took a lot of their stuff. I just think What's that digital planet did you was better one of hip hop's greatest one of hip hop's greatest songs. Digital was planet a was a fly stone. Were, did, were you was, just um, humming digital Mama planet? Said, you out. No, that's uh digital planet. Uh, dig, it sounded like you was it sounded like you was humming that dun, 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 dun. no that's no that's right. that's art blakey. Okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, that was something different that's from what art you were Blakey. Doing. Okay, that's that that song is I have the song. It's the original version of that is so speeded up, man. I mean, they really had to slow that bass line down, man, for them to you know for you for you to get that. Because I mean, when that song first comes on, it's like doom 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 and the horn is like that's that's Art Blakey, man. I mean, the song is so fast, man. You be spent, your head will be spinning. So whoever produced that song, you got to give them big ups because they really chopped that up in the machine. Whatever sampler it was, that they uh, cameo versus enchantment. Uh, cameo. You had to get at cameo. the cameo. You had to get at the cameo. Ambrosia was a great group. That's true. Yes. Uh, Take Six remade. Um, uh, yeah, that's that, that's the one I did the tutorial. Biggest part on. of me. Yeah. Yeah, biggest part of me. Yeah, that's the one I did a tutorial on. That's yeah. probably that's probably the only song I know by Ambrosia. Is that song though. Because of Take Six, though, not because of them. I only know the song because of Take Six version. Yeah, but you had to get at the cameo. I mean, like Enchantment has some pretty good songs, but they only their their library is very limited. And uh, Cameo's got some great stuff, and they got some great funk stuff. They got some great slow stuff. Uh, nah, it, Cameo wins that one, bro. Yeah, catalog. I mean, is deep. like really, Cameo. You had to put Cameo up against somebody like Parliament. Funkadelic and Cameo would lose then. <laughs> what about Cameo against the Whispers? 
Cameo mm, against that's, that's that's a that's that's like mismatch though. I mean, you uh, yeah, you give it to the whispers. I mean, now the whispers go back a long way. Whispers been around since 1961. Give it to the whispers. Am I thinking of the right group? I'm thinking of um, they are long. They had a, they had longevity. So, but they no, had, the whispers I, had longevity. Yeah, definitely. But the the whispers is more like the whispers are more smoother. Cameo is more funky. You mm. know what I mean? The whispers okay. like more smooth. They they they're a little more grown up than Cameo was. You know, Cameo like, was they, they was on some other okay, stuff. Wait a minute, maybe I got the the okay. I might have a wrong group. This is the song I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about Rocksteady. What's the that's, name of that group? That's whispers. the Whispers. Whispers. That's the Whispers. But the Whispers are more known for their laid back. And I think uh, that's the Babyface song. I think Babyface wrote that. Yeah, and that's the song that I can't stand from the Whispers. But anyway, mm -hmm. uh, but see, yeah, the Whispers are more like a laid back. That song. You had to put like the Whispers. The Whispers are, are like in the same category as like the. Uh, Modern day Delphonics, something like that. You know what I mean? Cameo's more on the funky side of the house. I get it, but Cameo didn't show when did Cameo show up? Cameo showed up like in the mid to late 70s, and then they fell off for a little bit, and then they came back in the mid 80s. Okay, so yeah, it was originally a 13 piece band. For my for my generation, you didn't know what cameo was until the eighties, and that's when you were also introduced to the whispers too. Yeah, that's word up with with cameo. It would be groups. yeah, it would be word up and taste like candy. Those are the songs that I remember from cameo. Right, and that was that was pre mm -hmm. that yeah that that was that's after the fact. Stuff. Cameo is in that in, in that group like around like just as disco was starting to phase out. That's when cameo started really showing up. And uh, the whispers have been around since the oh, early '60s. We just didn't, you know, we we just didn't get caught on to them until uh, again the mid to late '70s. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wasn't when they, when born it, until the late '70s. That's yeah, when, when this stuff started kicking. I mean, like cameos. If you were I mean, in the '80s, if yeah. you were in the '80s and you were just hearing the whispers and cameo, you would compare those two groups. Their videos played. They were contemporaries during that time. Uh, I don't know, because the yeah. Whispers don't go around wearing punk boots. And, well, I ain't going to say they didn't, didn't wear jerry curls, because they did. We're talking about comparison, so yeah. I'm just saying, for me, I think those are good groups to compare for that era. Mm. I, 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 I don't know. Because, like I said, people don't understand that Cameo was a big 13-piece band. They yeah, like yeah. when disco died. They they they're one of the few groups that changed course and just said we're well, just gonna be three of us. Gerald said the whispers are in the same category as the Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's like true. In, that, in, in that area. Yeah. That uh, cameos more like uh uh. They had some hits in the seventies. Why have I lost you? Yeah, I mean, a cameo has some really great songs, man. But cameo is more like, like, like chic, something like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, like the whispers, uh, the whispers, their albums in in the eighties were, were were pretty good. I think their best one was Just Gets Better with Time, with y'all's Rock Steady on there. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, that that just get better. That just gets better with time. Well, it, it just gets better with time. Yeah, that was a good song. Yeah. yeah, like the Sheik, the Gap Band, yeah, like that. That that's where you want to put Cameo at, yeah. Oh, but I can't say Cameo is better than the Gap Band. Are, are we comparing those two? Uh, that would be tough. They not better. Than that would be tough. Band. Charlie, Uncle Charlie, and them. Nah, that would be tough. That. that would be really tough. That's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good. That's a good matchup. Compar yeah, that's a good matchup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you have. I, I would take Gap Band over Sheik too, even though I like Sheik. Somebody could somebody put that in there. Uh, mm, yeah, that's 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 also tough. But now Rogers and man, it, it, man, and that's what I was about to say. Sheik's yeah. catalog is pretty small, but now Rogers' work, Sheik's work, expanded because they went and started doing a lot of. Production for a lot of other groups. What really did what 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 really made Chic was those girls, man. Those singers, those singers oh, yeah. were those singers were dope. And 
in they that in, in their prime, they they were fine as hell. Both of them. They still fine. It was actually, it was actually three of them. Well, now they now, now they fat meat and potatoes. That's what they are now. Wow. And the one girl, the, the one girl with the uh, not, the, really not the one who was playing the lead. The other one, uh, Lucy Martin. You never really heard her sing because she's got like a raspy type voice. Look at. Oh, I thought she was sleeping. My bad. Brandy's sitting over there watching. Uh, she Brandy's over there watching. Looking baby at the baby face, face and, 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 and Teddy Riley, right? But <laughs> <laughs> well, what's but well, what are they doing? Can you tell us what they're doing? What what what, what is it about? Brandy, are they actually? Do they have like live bands and stuff or what? Like, no, nah, I'm actually on totally something else. Oh, okay, all right, cool. But I'm also listening to the conversation at the same time. Oh, okay. But, um, to chime in on something, what about compunction against um? Woo, God, I told you about putting those Bay Ohio Ohio players. Mm -hmm. Nah, I, you I, had to I get up to the Ohio players. I had to go with the Ohio players. And Confunction got some really good songs, man. Confunction is dope. Like I say it's hard when you come in with them Bay Area groups. Yeah, my favorite Confunction song has got to be uh, "By Your Side." Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just get put on to a lot of you trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, never that. Are y'all keep it down? Brandy trying to sleep. <laughs> no, I'm actually on my phone at the same time. Nah, I ain't sleep. <laughs> All right. Uh, how about let's see, let's see who who could you put Heat Wave up against? Cold Wave. Oh brother. <laughs> oh brother. Heat see, wave. see what I mean. Oh. Yeah, I mean, Heat Wave is one of those groups where you just got to leave them alone, man. Because you, you, yeah, they're pretty much in the class. I mean, they had Rod Tipperton writing all those classic songs. I mean, well, I don't know if he was the only writer in the group. But. Well, you know, um, I think I I told you this before. Actually, that Rock with You, Johnny Wilder was supposed to sing that, and he turned it down, and they wound up giving it to Michael Jackson. Yeah, I think you did tell me that before. Yeah. Confunction versus the Ohio players. Uh, I would have to go with uh, I had to go with the Ohio players on that. I have to listen to more Confunction, but what I've heard is pretty good. And what yeah. I put on my podcast, it's like you know we step to that, so we're going we get it in. Heat Wave versus Baltimore Soft Tones. Well, I don't I've never heard of no Baltimore Soft Tones. Heat Wave versus the Commodores. Uh, now mm. it depends on what it depends on what version of the Commodores you talking about, with or without yeah, Richie. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, with, yeah. Because no matter what, they're they're they're, they're singer songwriters both left. They yeah. Masters. Yeah. Can the panel speak on this pandemic stimulus checks and how long we will be quarantined? <laughs> not nice to insult anyone. No, no we're not going to. Uh, no, nah, we, we 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 like to keep it music. <laughs> yeah, because then y'all you you'll get me started up in this piece. Yeah, yeah Richard, we gonna, I don't want him getting mad at me because I don't want him to go after him again. So we yeah, we're, we're gonna leave that one alone. I don't want to be involved in temptations. Any temptations versus four tops. Temptations. Uh, Here we go. That's if easy. Temptations. Because whenever we had to pick the temptations, we be we be all set like. Yeah, I give it to the temptations. Yeah, the temptations. that can go either way. It all depends on who's in the temptations. If you're talking about the original five, ooh, that's still tough. I'm talking David hey. Ruffin. You're talking Melvin. You're talking well, Otis. Don't okay, ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. <laughs> Eddie Kendricks. <laughs> and Paul. Ain't nobody coming to see you, ain't Otis. Nobody coming to see you. <laughs> and, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, who's the only one that's still alive out of all of them? Otis. Otis. Still, he's the only one that's still alive, man. I just thought about that the other day. Yeah, he's the only one. He's the, and he's the, one, one. Who start, he's the one who started the group. Mm hmm. Yep. So he, still alive. You know, uh, man, <laughs> them guys been through a lot, man. But they, you, you could not beat them when they had those, those, those five guys. When they had David Ruffin, Paul Williams, Eddie uh -huh. Kendricks, Melvin, yep. and Otis. But I like, I like the uh, when Dennis Edwards came on too. But I, I, I kind of like the, the, the original five that you just named. Yeah. Too. The David well, the Ruffin, five, the, the popular both five. Both versions were better than the four tops. That's just yeah. Me. Oh yeah, both versions were yeah, exactly. And uh, Dennis, Dennis was actually a friend of mine on Facebook it, until he died. Right. Mm. 
he just recently passed too, like within the last year or two or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. He, he just recently passed. Yeah, that but yeah, up, yeah. Four, four tops can't hold a candle to Temps. Uh, I don't know. know just, said, they 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 had some pretty good songs, man. And now, yeah, now, but not that, not to the same degree as the Temps, though. Well, man. now the good thing of it all was. Uh, if you if you saw them on stage, I actually went to go and see them, but this was like in the in the nineties, and uh, you know they they were actually singing each other's songs, like going going in between, yeah, and doing that. that. But nobody was messing. Nobody on the four tops could mess with Eddie Kendricks in singing. Nobody could mess with uh, David Ruffin on the four. Maybe maybe Levi Stubbs might give him a run, but David Ruffin will still beat beat him out one on one. But nobody was singing like Eddie Kendricks. No way. No way. my window. I I mean, he was just smooth, man. He was just smooth, Eddie. Someone, uh, Mike said, uh, Otis, Otis Redding or Marvin Gaye. Marvin. I Sorry. Figured, <laughs> I figured gotta go saying. Marvin, man. <laughs> gotta go Marvin. Maybe not on the drums, but you gotta go with Marvin. <laughs> not on the drums. <laughs> Uh, the Temps had to be the number one. I mean, is there a group that you that you can actually say is better than the Temptations? That's 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 the question. Uh, well, if you ask person. you, you say Boys to Men. Past or pro- oh, no, you're lying. You're lying. I'm not. I'm not going to put uh, Boys to Men over the Temps. I would never do that. I would. Nah. And I love Boys to Men, but I wouldn't put them over what the Temps did. Nah. 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 I, I would They're never do that. The reference point. Yes. There you go. These groups. Right, <laughs> right, exactly, exactly. It's like every, every, it's like if you look it up in the in the dictionary, it's a picture of the Temptations. Well, Rocky, <laughs> I've never heard of the Baltimore Soft Tones, so I wouldn't know. I know my mother knew one of the members in that group too, so I do. And uh, I think my mother and Rocky <laughs> is around the same age, so I guess that. Well, no, no. I know because you said you're 58 now. She's a little bit. Oh no. no. But but no, but there was but there was a um group called the Soft Tones that was from Baltimore. I, I don't know how popular they became. Now we're talking maybe the 60s. I don't know. Yeah, look at what uh, 112 what? put up on the chat. This is for jazz Mike McCurry. Oh Melvin. Oh, I mean, come on, man. Melvin is going to beat Mike McCurry any day, man. Any day. Melvin is going to beat Mike McCurry any day, man. And you know I love Mike. I miss Mike. I wish he was still singing with Boys to Men. And you know I I I love what he put to the group, but ain't nobody taking no. Uh, now nah, he's not taking no Melvin Franklin's place. Never, never. You know what was cool though? What I enjoy is there's a um on Arsen on Arsenio Hall, Boys to Men and the Temptations performed, and this was a version of the Temptations where Melvin was still performing with them. So that was kind of cool seeing Mike McCrary and Melvin sharing a microphone. It's on YouTube. It's actually on YouTube. And it was the Arsenio Hall show. That that was kind of cool. But uh, uh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah, it's on YouTube. Ar- Arsenio Hall, uh, Mike McCrary, and Melvin Franklin sharing the microphone. <laughs> that was you know that was that was good to see. But yeah, Melvin Franklin all day, or as they called them, Blue. Yeah, uh, he may be the second base. <clears throat> He may be the second base. Oh, yeah. second best property base thing is what you meant. I actually went to see them just before Melvin died mm-hmm. in Atlantic City. How was Melvin? How was his performance? Was he? Uh, I couldn't tell you because Melvin wasn't there. Got you. Okay. So he was he was ill then. Okay. Yeah, but he he was still alive. Got you. But the light skinned dude with the Jerry curl, he was there, and um, the guy. Who uh, somebody said his name? Um, somebody said his name up in here. I forget because dude is gone now too. Um, Ali Woodson. Yeah, Ali he, Woodson yeah. was good. He he's probably one of the most popular Temptations that's out of the of, you know the 60s, 70s version. Ali Woodson, I would think, is probably one of the most popular ones outside of the ones that you know from the 60s and 70s. That's that, the one. That's the guy who sang the lead uh, on "Treat Her Like a Lady," right? I believe so. He was on the I Jamie believe. Foxx show when they was in the crazy house and dude. Yeah, he, he yeah. did an episode of Martin before too, didn't he? Yeah, that's he dude. Did, yeah. He, yeah, he did an episode of Martin. Yeah, he's probably the he's probably the only one that's notable that's passed a- after Dennis Edwards. Okay, Dennis Edwards joined the group. Of course, he, everyone knows him. But after yeah. that, I think the most ne- the next most noticeable new one was probably Ali Austin. Yeah, but dude, what's pretty good. Wilson. 
Yeah, he, he was. was. I, I like I like uh yeah. Jazz and B flat says Phil Collins or Steve Perry. Steve Perry. You have to get that to Steve Perry. Steve Perry is the lead singer of Journey. Journey. Okay, right, right. Yeah. So he's the one that sings open arms, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Steve Perry all day. I love that song. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, love that song. Eric yeah. Clapton versus Stevie Ray Vaughan. Uh, uh you had to go with Eric Clapton for singing, but Stevie Ray Vaughan for guitar playing. Michael Jackson versus Prince. <laughs> Michael Why not Jackson. go there? <laughs> I, had to go, I would have to go with Michael Jackson uh, as 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 a performer, uh, as a musician. You had to get at the Prince. Well, I mean, he definitely was a more of an instrumentalist than Michael was. That's for sure. Well, yeah. Well, well, Michael could play instruments, but he just never did it. Right, that's why I said I said, that's why I said you have to give it to uh Prince for a musician. Uh, we back with Prince and Michael Jackson really, again. Michael Jackson versus Stevie Wonder. Michael Jackson versus Stevie. Oh, Stevie. Stevie. Again, man. as a as Stevie. a musician, at, at, look. Man, you, you had to go to one of his concerts, man. Now, of course, I mean Stevie Wonder can't dance nowhere near Michael Jackson. Stevie Wonder can't dance, period. Right. You can't see. So it's an unfair comparison. If you're talking about the show, now, there are a lot of performances. About, if you're talking okay, about writing different. and musicianship, Stevie Wonder with Michael Jackson's that's what I'm saying. Eric yeah. Earl. Yeah, of course Michael Jackson had the better live show, but we're not. I don't think that's what was meant when he said Michael Jackson versus Stevie Wonder. I don't think he meant their live show. I think he's just talking about music, singing, yeah. talent is what I think. Not the, uh, uh, not not the live show, because that's not uh, that's not fair. Stevie can't do any of that stuff. Uh, well, and he has a good reason why he can't do it. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you then you had to go with Stevie Wonder then, because Stevie Wonder is a, a a way better writer. He wrote mm -hmm. he wrote Michael's hits <laughs> and Jermaine's. So okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Stevie Wonder wrote songs for Roberta Flack, and. Yeah, for Roberta Flack, and of course, both both her and Donny Hathaway sang them. That uh, "You Are My Heaven." Uh, he wrote that. He wrote uh, "Don't Don't Make Me Wait Too Long" for uh, for Roberta Flack. He, he wrote a lot of stuff for Roberta Flack, man. Right. That she used. You know, so, huh. that goes to show you how bad he was. I'm dude. In the 70s, he could take on any of those big bands that we were talking about earlier, like Earth, Wind, and Fire, and, and, and so on and so forth. I hear you. Um, let me see. We are at the two hour and 51 minute mark. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead on and we're going to move over because I actually have a nice amount of submissions this week for the beat making contest. So I definitely want to uh, slide over there. Now, uh, usually the way we do this is, for those of you who this might be your first time, every on Saturdays only. I, I've, I've been doing live streams on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. But on Saturdays only, we like to make a track based off of chords that we picked the Saturday prior. So last week, at the end of last week's stream, uh, we agreed on four chords that we were going to use. And then everybody was supposed to take those four chords and create their own track. OK, their own track production with it. And so. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to tell you whose track I'm playing. What I will tell you is uh, is all the names of the submissions that I got. And then what after all it's said and done, we will um go back and we'll see if well, as we listen to it, we'll let everybody take a guess at who they think did it. Okay, who did the particular track? Now, the options that we have is we have 112 DZ, he submitted a track. We have Brandy, Brandy submitted a track. We have Rocky, he submitted a track. We have Ron. He submitted a track, and for the first time ever, uh, we have Mitch Soul. 
I'm, I'm assuming he's still in the chat. He's usually in the chat most most Saturdays with well most live streams. But Mitch Soul actually submitted a track also. Um, and I guess the only other person would be me. <laughs> me. So that means that's is that four or five? One, two, three, four. So we have five different tracks to listen to. Okay, Mitch Soul, there you go, right there. So this gentleman right here, he submitted a track too. So, Jazz and B flat, you have a great night too, man. Thank you for. I got six in all, Jazz, including you. That's six. Man. Hold up, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, it is six. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so we got six different tracks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my screen share so that we can hear the music, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this thing, okay? So y'all don't need to see the screen over there. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just going to randomly play a track, and you tell me who you think created it. Here's the first one. Can y'all hear that okay? Okay, so that was the first one. Does anyone want to take a guess at who you think might have done that? Are uh, we going to do it at the end? or, or just, since... I mean, anyone just want to take a stab at who you think that one is? Who you think, D? Oh, I'd like to get mine at the end since we have so many. <laughs> okay. Um, Brandy, did you want to take a shot at who you think it is? I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot at that. I think it's Ron. You think I'm that's Ron? It. Okay. No, 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 no. 112. 112, yeah. Oh, 112. I think 112. Okay. 112. Yeah. All right. Mike, did you want to take a shot at it? Mike is muted. I don't know. He might have stepped away. Brick, did you want to take a shot at it? And his mic is muted. Okay, well, we're going to the next one then. Okay, so here's uh track. I don't number. know any of I don't know any of them, so I'm just okay. hanging around. All right. Yeah, here's the next one right here. Oh, hold on. I got started over. Hold on. My bad.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So that was the second one. Did anyone want to take a shot at who you think produced that one? Uh, it can be the uh, Mitch Soul, maybe. You said uh, Mitch. You said Mitch Soul. Yeah. I don't know why we're getting that feedback, but okay. Okay. All right. Did anybody else want to take a shot at it? Yeah, I say Mitch too. Okay, you say Mitch. So, what what you say, Mike? Uh, I don't know because I didn't hear it. Okay, <laughs> I had to. I, no, seriously, I had to. Um, I had to run downstairs for a minute. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else? So we had one person, Mitch Soul, and um, and D D said Mitch Soul also, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Well, let's go to the next one. Here's the next track right here. Jazz, you're muted. Well, that was track three. Anybody want to take a guess at who that was? Mitch Soul. Okay, so we got Mitch Mitch Soul again. I said like Ron. Okay, one twelve says Ron. Uh, I think it's Rocky. You think it's Rocky? Okay, D says she thinks it's Rocky. All right, Georgie Porgy, who you think it is? Oh, that's that's definitely Scorpio B. Scorpio B. Okay, and Mike, who do you think it was? Okay, he must be listening to something else. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> now you had me muted. I said uh, Mitch. Mitch. Okay, Mitch. So, okay. All right, cool. And don't worry, I will go back after all the songs have been played, and we will review reveal who did what. But for right now, going to the next track. Here we go. Now, but like I can wear my crown. Ain't 
in my heart, I'ma hold you down, and it ain't gonna stop it now, he treats me the way I deserve to be treated, sends me flowers, one and nine, men like you girl need it, I've been looking for someone, Okie dokie, everybody named Smokey. Now, I recognize the vocals. I was getting ready to say, who is that singing? But I, I already know who's singing. But I don't want to say the name out loud just in case it might give out who produced the track. But I know whose vocals that was. I definitely know. But uh, Georgie Porgy, who who do you think did that track? Uh, I, 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 I'm going to say Ron. Ron, Ron? Flavor, huh? All right. 112, who are you going to say did that? Yeah, I'm going to switch my answer. I definitely think that was Ron. Okay, um, the brat, what you, what you gonna say? That's definitely Ron. Okay, definitely Ron. Okay, D diminished, no doubt. Ron. Okay, and last but not least, Tippity Chopsky the Dopsky. Uh, yeah, that's Ron. Okay, so everyone's saying that's Ron. I definitely know who was doing the vocals, I, I recognize that voice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I definitely know the vocals. Is that <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I believe it is. I definitely think it's her. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the next track. Here we go. Everybody, mute your mics, please. Thank you. 
Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, if you want to take a guess of who you think it was, unmute your mic and throw out your guess. One twelve DZ, you already unmuted your mic. Who you Rocky. think? Rocky. Rocky. Okay. Cool. Anyone else want to take a shot at it? Um, I think it's Rocky myself. You think it's Rocky? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? D. Um. <sighs> I say Rocky. Rocky. All right. Mike or okay, Nasim says Rocky also. Mike, who you say? Say it one more time, Mike. Brandy. Brandy. Okay. All right, cool. All right. So we got one more uh track coming. Here we go. I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna. I don't really wanna, I don't really, really wanna I really, really just don't want I don't really wanna, I don't really wanna I don't really wanna, I don't really, really wanna I really, really just don't want To break up Bet y'all never guess who did that one. That was some mystery vocals, weren't it? <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> like, who in the world was no, that? Was, uh, I, I think I, I think that was one game more. I wish. Yeah, I wish. Uh, one twelve. Who you think it was, man? I said Mike. Mike. <laughs> Mike. Okay, Mike. Who you think it was? You. you. Me. Okay. D. Who you think it was? Yo, Yo, oh, there we go. <laughs> and the brat, who do you think it was? Of course. Well, there we go. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, you got to point the opposite direction to make it look like, yeah, it's crazy. All right. Well, that was the last track. So I will go back and I will re uh, reveal all of the people. So I'm just going to give you just a little 10 seconds uh, snippet so you can remember what the tracks sound like. And then I'll tell you who did it. This was the first track that we played right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's got to be 112. 112. So that one was 112DZ. Yes, the bass probably gave it away. The bass, that bass guitar probably gave that one away. So yes, that was 112. Okay, so here is a snippet of the second track that I played. And of course, that was the brat. <laughs> it was Brandy. <laughs> I was going to say her. <laughs> no, 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 Mike. I don't know. No, 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 no
<laughs> she's still trying to learn how to make beats. That's why she says she doesn't have a dog in this fight. A bone, whatever she said. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is the third track that I played. That was the one, the only, he goes by the name producer one, but we call him on here, Rocky. So that was Rocky's beat, y'all. <laughs> I don't think everybody guessed Rocky on that one. That's yeah, nice. nice. Yeah, that was Rocky. All right, so here's the next one. I already know my sister's vocals when I hear my little sister's vocals. So that, uh, but anyway, that one is Ron, and I can guarantee you that the vocalist was no other than my baby sister from another mother and father, Miss Nisha. <laughs> Am I right, Ron? That that is Nisha, right? I hope I hope I ain't giving the wrong person credit, but that definitely sounded like my sister right there. <laughs> but yeah, that was Ron. And now I'm going to play the next track that I played. Here, here's a little snippet. So the track that had that piano solo in it was none other than Mitch Soul. Uh, first time uh, no, presenting yeah, the track to us. That was Mitch Soul. There go his name right there for those wondering. Ooh, that's, that's, that's him right there. That was his track right there. And he gave us the nice little instrumental with the piano solo on top of it. And of course, the last track. I don't really want to. I don't really want to play the fool again. Hey, I don't really want. I don't really, really want. I really, really just Yo. don't want to play the fool again. I don't really wanna. I don't know who that was. I gotta remember. I'm trying to remember who did that joint. Um, who did that? I don't really wanna. I don't really. <laughs> I can't remember who did that. I don't really, 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 really don't. I really, really, really don't want to play the fool. For those of you that's sitting out there, like, who is it, man? Just say who it is. It was me, okay? <laughs> yeah. so, so, some people might not know my personality. Yeah, it was me. Okay. That was me. Yeah. yeah. Was oh man. I appreciate that, David Rivers. Thank you, man. Uh so um, yeah, so yeah, that was good, man. I'm so glad we had like six different submissions this week. This is good, man. I hope we can get it even more. Uh for those of um for those of you now, this is not like a who won or who lost type of thing. This is just a segment where we just get to show off. You know some of our little production skills, and it helps us to maybe become better producers or whatever. You know, give us practice. And again, what we do is we, is, and what we do is that we always pick the chords a week prior. 
We picked the chords a week prior and we asked everybody to stick with the chords. Uh, D, you had a question? Yeah, I was going Would you share the screen? I hear echo. Yeah, you got echo going on big time. All right, well, there it is. It's gone. Yeah, I definitely had to share a screen on because that's the only way y'all can hear the music. Uh, but we're finished with it now, so I, I just turned it off. Hello. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that's better. Okay, so now we need, we're at the point where we need to pick out chords for next week. Before we do that, anybody is welcome to participate uh, with this little challenge that we do. Again, there's no winners. There's no losers. We just enjoy each other's music and just listen to, listen to each other's style. If you want to participate... All you have to do is have your track emailed to me by Friday uh, noon to give me a chance to listen to it and make sure that, you know, everything is right with it. And uh, if you can, if you do that, then I will definitely play it and you will get your props. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we we don't say who it is at first, but after we go through everybody's track, I give everybody. Their props on who did what. So um, if you would like to be a part of that, my email address, all you have to do is just type House of Jazz. Please type it like this. Some of y'all like to try to type my name the way it's supposed to be spelled in the English dictionary. No, it's one word. It's one Z. <laughs> H-O-U-S-E-O-F-J-A-Z. No spaces and one Z in jazz at yahoo.com. It's that simple. So this 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 word right here, at yahoo.com you get that to me by friday uh noon friday that's friday before we go on on saturday and uh i will definitely play your track so now we're going to switch back over to my previous view just give me a second to get everything loaded up so it don't look so bad and what we're going to do is we're going to come up with some chords for next week's uh thing so let's go over here Oh, hold on. I got to hit the share screen again. That's right. <laughs> I don't have to share the audio. Though. All right. Well, you guys go ahead, man. I'm going to cut out, man. I'm about to fall asleep up in this joint. All right, Mike. All right. I'll, listen, I'll, I'll look at the thing and uh, go over the chords a little bit later on. All right. So everybody have a good night, and I'll get at y'all a little bit later on. Dude. All right. Deuces. All right, Mike. Sorry about that, y'all. My screen crashed again. All right. Although I'm back. Let me take out my old version of me. There you go. Hey, can everybody hear me now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's, that's the thing about turning the, square sh the share screen off and on. Sometimes it crashes my browser. So sorry about that. Um, but um, anyway, let's, uh, let me bring it back on so that we can um, try to get some chords for next week. Uh, uh, share audio. No, I don't have to share the audio. Just the screen. There we go. Okay. All right. So there we go. So everyone can see, right? No problem, right? Let me uh, put this up like this so you can really see. All right. So we're going to go over the chords. Anybody want to give us the first chord that we want to start with? I got one, guys. Um, let's do C minor seven. C minor seven. Uh, I'll give it to you this way. Oh, I need to type it too. Hold up, so I can um put it in this, on the thing. Okay, C minor seven. Okay, so sorry about that. But let me do it this way. Okay, so we have C minor seven. No. Um. Um, we might can go to G minus seven. So are y'all good with that? C minus seven. Y'all good with that? Yes, sir. Okay. Only one person spoke, so I'm going to assume everybody else is cool with you. So <laughs> G minus seven. Okay. Didn't type that. Okay. We need at least two more chords. So we got... So we went from C to 
So let me see. Hold up, wrong chord. Sorry about that. <laughs> to G minus seven. Sorry about that. Do y'all like that chord right there? Did y'all like that transition? Listen to it again. C minus seven. G minus seven. Did y'all like that transition or you want me to find something else? That sounds cool to me. All right, so that's F minus what? seven over B flat. Cool. Let me just type it so I don't forget it. F minus seven over B flat. And we're going to get at least one more chord in there. So we have... First chord again. Um, no, it's a, no, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> oh, I like that. I might switch it up a little bit. Listen to this, y'all. Listen to this progression. No, but those last two chords are the two chords that we used last week, though. <laughs> the F minus seven, F minus seven over B flat is what we just used last week. Okay, um, Gerald is saying do F major seven, so let me see. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work just because because of where we were. Um, Kind of stuck on this one. Maybe that might work. Let me see how that sounds. Hold up. Here we go. Have some, y'all. I'm up. Let me try it again. I thought I had something, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Try something else. I guess it'll just be B flat minor seven. Okay, so what I just did, the third chord was the B flat minor seven chord. That was the third chord that I did. So let me put that on there. B flat minor seven, minor seven. And then the fourth chord that I think I'm going to wind up going with is B flat minor seven over E flat. Okay, so let me put it up on the screen. Uh, this is what I think we're going to use. I mean, we might change it. But let's just take this is let's go with these chords for right this second. So we have. Hold on for a second. All right. Oh, 
Are y'all good with those progressions? Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Took me a minute to get there, but we got it. <laughs> all right. So, okay. So, it's, all right. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to spell out each of the chords. All right. So, the C minor seven. Now, if you want to play the chords in a different inversion, feel free. I'm not going to sit here and show you every single way you can play C minor seven, every single way you can play G minor seven, every single way you can play B. I'm not going to do. I'm just going to show you what I'm doing now. But if you want to change the inversion, feel free. So your C minor seven, the way I'm doing it is you got C on the left hand. Then on the right hand, you got G, B flat and E flat. That's how I'm choosing to play it. OK, so that's your C minor seven. Okay, the next chord, G minor seven. The way I'm playing it is G on the left hand. You can double it up. And then on the right hand, we got F, G, B flat, and D. Okay, and then on the next, the next chord is a B flat minor seven. So on your left hand, you got B flat. Then on your right hand, you got F, A flat, and D flat. And then all I did was take my left hand and take it over to E flat. Okay? So in theory, you're playing a B flat minor 7 with an E flat in the bass. Okay? So those are the four chords right there. Now, let me just say that for those of you that's in the chat room that's debating on whether or not you want to um, be a part of this. You do not have to play the chords in this order. Uh, Rocky's track that I played earlier, he started with the the G minor 7 flat 5 chord first. And that's not what I gave first. And that was fine. I, I could tell when I listened to the track. So um, um, if, if you want to play a different chord, if you want if you want to start it off with the G minor 7, and then go to C minus whatever, whatever. It's cool. All we're asking is that you just use these four chords. And if you want to do slightly different, um, if you want to add chords to this, we don't have any problems with that. Again, all we're asking is that you just use this. I think when we listened to Ron's track, Ron went to a bridge, which was totally different chords. That's fine. Again, we just ask that you use these in the track. So I'll go over it one more time, and I think we might be good for the evening, y'all. So C minor 7 again is C on the left hand, G, B flat, E flat on the right hand, to G minor 7, which is G on the left, F, G, B flat, D, B flat minor 7, that's B flat on the left hand, F, a flat, B flat, D flat, then just take your left hand and move it over to E flat. And that's the B flat minor seven over E flat. All right. <laughs> Don't use that chord I just played. <laughs> All right, so those are our chords for next week. And uh, let me switch on back. All right, and I can take that off the screen. So hopefully, you know, like I said, it was kind of nice having six different entries this week. And hopefully we can have six or um, uh, even, e even more. It doesn't matter. So, <laughs> but um, I'll, hey, as, many, uh, as, yeah, many as many people as submits them, that's how many I will play. Yes, D. Uh, what was that first chord? What was uh, you said? C in the left hand, G B flat E flat. Yeah, let me just let me do it again. Hold on. Uh, C okay. minor seven. Here we go. C on the left hand, G, mm -hmm. B flat, and E flat, which is C minor seven. Okay. okay. And then the next chord was G minor seven. That's yeah, G. I got those. I just Okay, and you got that, and you got that. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. It was just right. the first one I was a little bit confused on for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. I'm glad you came through to A7 sharp 9. Appreciate that. A7 sharp 9. Wouldn't that be a C? Yeah, A7 sharp 9. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So um, what's going on, Mayola? You came in just as we about to sign off, man. That's your usual time, I think. All right. <laughs> All right. That's the, uh, that, that's Melvin Franklin right there, y'all. That's Melvin Franklin from the Temptation with the oh, bass. I'll take All good right. care. <laughs> there you go. I'll take good care. Oh, no, good care of oh, you. That's what a man is supposed to do. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely. Um, so the, for the um, appreciate all of y'all joining us. Um. Again, we are doing the three live streams um, every week because of the quarantine. So we will be back on Wednesday, 7 p.m. Um, whoa, okay. On Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so and then also we'll be back again Thursday, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time also. And then, of, of course, we'll be back next Saturday at our usual time that we've been doing the live streams for over a year. It's Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we'll, uh, I guess on Wednesday, we will continue on with the number system. So for those of you that came in to see the number system, I did an extremely, extremely, extremely basic lesson on that at the beginning of the video. If you missed the beginning of the video, that's okay. I'm getting ready to end the stream now. Give YouTube a chance to, you know, do whatever they do to the video. And they'll pop it right back on my channel. And just check out the beginning of this uh, live stream to, you know, see that. And also, as soon as I sign off, I'm going to create a playlist that will feature the live streams uh, for the last two to three weeks that all dealt with building scales building chords and then this one whenever this one shows up on youtube i will pop today's live stream in there too so that if you want to go all the way back to the beginning so that you know maybe you're not this advanced and you need the the, the foundation i did the foundation already okay so uh, i'll create that playlist as soon as i finish with this live stream, which will be in about 10 to 15 seconds so <laughs> hopefully you will join us next week and um Everyone be safe. Uh, do what they say to do so that, you, you know, you stick, keep yourself protected from that mess that's out there. And um, we'll catch you then next week. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>